God. All right, you and I are uh, so awfully right. different. Sorry, I'm here. Hey. Hey. Wait, hold on. Oh, no, wrong one. My, there we go. Uh-oh. My landlord called. I'm sorry. Oh, uh, we figured it was Nicole. Oh. <laughs> yeah, your landlord. Yeah, yeah, the sultan. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Okay. Hold on, hold on. Just make sure. Uh, so good here. My phone is bringing up the stream in black. So this is Rough. going to be a great time. All right, hold on. I think can can everybody uh, hear us? Uh, are we, yeah, are we let's, audible? Let's check that first. Huh? <laughs> yep. Good. Okay. Hey. All if right. if hold on. All right. Who? Corey and I are gonna be quiet for a second. David's gonna speak mm -hmm. just by himself. And do you guys hear him like echoey? Hello. Oh god. How is everyone's oh, day? Going? No, no, David stop, is louder than stop. us. <laughs> David's always louder than us. <laughs> oh god. Yeah. All right. Everyone, I'm a loud boy. Feast your eyes on my Discord for a second. <laughs> Check out this contraption we've got going on. All right, I can't. I, my screen's I, I lowered him by about ten percent, <laughs> so hopefully this that helps. Baloney. Talk, David. Speak, speak. Hello. Is that any better? How do I sound now? I'm probably still a little loud, but I'll try and keep it down. I put you down I'll a bit, so I think I think you should be okay, but I don't right. know. Yeah, let me bring up my character sheet. This and is so weird. We... It's like you're contagious or something. Like we have to isolate I'm not. you. <laughs> Everyone sounds fine. I'm not contagious. <laughs> Fourteen days. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, what a fucking weird it's time we live in. Sorry. Right now, anyway, man. all right. Everyone sounds go. good. Okay, let's get into it then. Heroes awesome. and villains. Thank you. So much for joining us on yet another episode of Initiative, or maybe it's your first yeah. time. Uh, this is our special quarantine episode of Initiative. <laughs> the first of uh, who knows how many. To those listening, it'll yeah. be a little different for you guys. To those watching, either live or through YouTube, um, uh, it's going to be very different for you guys because, uh, as you can see, Corey and I are in the same room together. I'm looking at his beautiful face right now. But uh, David and uh, Nicole, who will be joining us soon, um, yeah, are at home. Uh, I was sick a little while ago, so I'm quarantined. Yeah, we don't trust him. Yeah, we don't trust him. He's done. He's yeah. lying. <laughs> so, <laughs> new layout on here for all that, all that good stuff. So, um, but that is not. It stopped us from streaming last week. It's not going to stop us now. Uh, so hello. This is our superhero mutants and masterminds live stream called initiative for those of you who are just tuning in for the first time uh yeah. i am joined by my uh, i'm your uh first off i am colby <laughs> you're like caught red-handed with like dude i know it's no it's idea terrible. what to do like um someone just walked in on you peeing i didn't rehearse for this <laughs> zip uh <laughs> i am colby your professor gm for today joined here by Corey. i am Corey. i play as elias crowley and david Hi, I play as Adam Mercury, and go. this is Nicole, who plays don't, as Jackie. Don't put your phone down on that desk. <laughs> yeah, we can hear oh, you yeah. go boom. Oh, yeah, you're right, you're right. <laughs> no, drop, okay. drop it on your invisible wife's lap. Put spikes on that desk. I don't care what you need to do. Like, <laughs> dump out some thumbtacks. Oh, put some water oh, on it. Just dump water on it. And oh, yeah, what's the worst up. that could happen? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for joining us for yet another episode of Initiative. Um... I think uh, we don't have any announcements as of yet. We're going to try and keep streaming like this for the foreseeable future until we can get everybody over once again and resume our yep. regularly scheduled broadcast. Until then, if we have any sound issues or anything, chat, please let us know um, throughout, uh, especially when I start playing music or anything like that. We will see. Yeah. Uh, if you listen on Spotify, enjoy. Anyway, uh, let's see. Huh? Uh, Nicole should be back soon. Okay. So for everyone who's wondering where Jackie is, she'll be here. Yeah, she'll be back soon. She so, quit. She hates well, us. I can see the script. Huh? I know you can't. Hopefully they can't. I don't think they can. <laughs> no, they can't. They can't. But I can. Okay. Good. Great. <laughs> don't read the script. Read it. Okay, Tell I me. <laughs> I must know. <laughs> All right. Anyway, so as we always do before every episode, we're going to go over the story so far to help catch everybody up. And it's been a week, so we do need some catching up. So, the story so far, episode 16. Last week on Initiative, our heroes have traveled to the Amble Belt, an alternate dimension, with the help of Professor Savannah, 
It is a place of tranquility where wanderers often find themselves without realizing. It is here that all realms are connected. While there, they assist a strange being known as Yaliru in disposing of a tree whose branches have been extending past its own realm and attempting to enter others. Upon completing this task, Yaliru tells the group that it will provide a, quote, connection needed to guide our heroes to the source of the Dark Entity's power, a land known as the Converging Expanse. Their conversation is cut short, however, as a figure clad in chaotic shadow approaches another minion of the Dark Entity and a former foe of our heroes, Kaito Idarashi. Yaliru warns the party that they are not yet strong enough to combat those touched by such malevolent shadow, and so our heroes must flee. They are able to escape back to Earth, leaving the Amble Belt to an unknown fate. Professor Savannah is ecstatic to hear that they have secured one of the three components necessary for their journey, but is stumped in regards to obtaining the third, the Catalyst. Our heroes decide to follow their last lead and meet with Egon Brem at the Brooklyn Bridge Park. His adopted sister and fellow wielder of the power of Animus, Adalia Loretta, is being held captive uh, uh, at the behest of our party by the Umbra Collective. They must free her and return to Edon so that he and his sister can bestow their power to Elias. <laughs> Slurp. <laughs> Our heroes schedule a meeting with the Umbra Collective, entering a taxi to presumably be taken to the hidden base. Will they be able to find, uh, excuse me, save Adalia? Will they maintain a peaceful relationship with the Umbra Collective? Probably not. Find out. <laughs> Right now, <laughs> on this week's episode of Initiative. Bet you I'm so hype. <laughs> Bet you a dime we don't. <laughs> Bet you bottom dollar. <laughs> I'm so, so hype. I, I want to murder every person here. Wow. Damn, Adam. <laughs> no, they, Adam doesn't, so but I do. Out of character. <laughs> what they do to you? All right. So. I, look, I've been playing a lot of Doom. Oh, oh I can tell. Rip and tear. <laughs> so. As we start off again, tell me if the music is too loud streamed because I know we can't hear it. So, I can't get my as we start, start as always with a dark camera and we fade in to, or rather we move into this room. All we see around is this, uh, off tan, that sort of old computer. Uh, like the old, uh, you know, those large monitors that you used to have with the old Apple computers and whatnot, yep. um, old Windows computers, mm -hmm. that color is everywhere. It's staining the walls, and we see pipes running along the ceiling and the walls themselves. And as we travel through this hallway, uh, we start hearing boots traveling um, across the floor. Just people... We hear people uh, talking to one another, but their words are filtered through masks. Just here. Yeah. Right over here. Oh, yeah. Um, we even hear uh, the sound of a um uh oh the name of it states me. The it stands uh radioactivity. Oh, Geiger uh, counter? It, no, it's like a, uh, yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, like that that ghost thing? Yeah, yeah. Like an EVP <laughs> thing. Yeah, sure. Yep, that's it. Um, ghost detector. Geiger counter, <laughs> it is, yeah, thank you. Lucas. Um and as we move through the hallway, we suddenly enter a much larger room, a, uh, a large cavern, but the camera is panned a bit downward, so we cannot see it, the, the details of this room. But we do see about two dozen individuals clad in these black uh, armored hazmat suits. Um, Fancy. Their front filters hanging low, uh, almost to their chests, as we hear, uh, see them walking around with these instruments. Uh, speaking to two of these uh, dressed individuals is uh, a familiar individual who is wearing no protective gear at all. Um, we see Rachel, her uh, bright red hair. Uh, I don't like her. Shining uh, <laughs> with, her, with her white you lab coat on her. Uh, against. She... <laughs> adjust her odd half cut off glasses at the bottom she she adjusts them as she's speaking to one of the individuals she says um uh she looks like she just finished a sentence and the other um and the other uh uh individual she's talking to one of them speaks up and says uh well we think that we have it under control for now but 
Things are going to get a lot worse before they get better, man. She looks to the distance, and we see, reflecting in her eyes, a, a light, just a flickering light. And she doesn't look at the grunt in front of her, but she says, uh, Well, I have a meeting that I need to attend, and I hope you have it taken care of before then. I do not want to be interrupted. I want a security detail established immediately. Do I make myself clear? Yes, ma'am, immediately. She nods. She turns in her heels, click off the out of the uh, into the distance, and as the camera pans up, we see a um, uh, flicker of blue flames. And as we keep panning upward, this entire vast chamber where elevators and steps lead up into dozens of levels, uh, blue flames are spreading. Uh, and, oh, excuse me. and that's where we fade in to now. Yeah, that doesn't sound good. No, never. So, all right. So last we left off, the three of you stepped into the uh, taxi cab where yep. it uh, supposedly is going to take you to the Umbra Collective. Yeah, or so we hope. So the process is very similar. You guys have done this once before. Uh, you notice that uh, the driver does not speak with you as much as you want to try and converse with him. He's being, unless you really press it, he is not going to, to speak. Um, and he drops you off at a uh, a nearby um, railway or a subway and he opens the door opens and the three of you have to walk out and into here and um, you have to wait for the uh, the train that does not exist as the entire platform eventually clears out uh, you guys are waiting for a little bit of time before everything clears out and then this single car and the doors open up for you um as as we get in i'm just like uh so do you think we're gonna have to like beat some guys up like they're not gonna let they're not just gonna like give us a dahlia no we well we'll, we'll try to handle this diplomatically first i think we'll tell them that i've learned how to extract her energy but i can't do it here yeah but what if they're like, well, why can't you do it here? Um, because it's part of a ritual, I guess. Yeah, and we can try. It has to be done, like, at a, at a specific location or else it won't work. Yeah. And if worst comes to worst, either Jackie can just, like, mind control them and be like, no, we're taking her. Or I'll just, like, grab her and run, right? <sighs> yeah. Worst comes to worst. Yeah, I mean, you could take her and run. Yeah. And then... <coughs> Man. <coughs> oh, God. We could meet you. <laughs> yeah, Sorry. I mean... As Nerves. Long... <laughs> <laughs> as long as you guys can get out, then I'll just... I'll get her out. Therein lies the tricky part. <sighs> yeah. And then where did we agree to meet? We were going to meet at um, Grand Central, right? Correct. Because we were going to send... Yeah. Uh, yeah, her, and, Egon, yeah. her and Egon away together yep. but yep. once we get the two of them together then at Grand Central they can actually let me drain them and then yeah. they're free and clear I feel like this plan is <laughs> flawed but I don't know what else to do <laughs> I don't think there's anything else we can do right now honestly yeah uh, alright I mean I guess I'll let's try and keep track of like where we're actually going so when I, if I do have to grab her and run, I can make my way out. <laughs> I'm not laughing because it's a bad idea. I'm laughing because it's a great idea. And because we're hopelessly going to get lost in this labyrinth of an underground maze. Yep. <laughs> uh, I guess I'll, I'll try. Yeah, I'm going to try to just like, as we're going, even though we're on like a subway, I'm just going to try and like know which direction we're going. So I know which way to run back if I need to. <sighs> Is there a stat that helps him plot that out? 
So you want to basically like chart your course? Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah. So, uh, make a perception roll. Uh, therein lies the problem. I need a die. Oh my god. Do you mind if I use, use a dice roller? Use a dice roller. <laughs> okay. Kratz told me thanks. <laughs> Alright. Alright, Wizards of the Coast dice roller, don't let me down. Oh, that's my go to. Oh, it let me down. That's a five. Five? Alright. Yep. So, um, even in the best of circumstances, um, just like before, as this cart, you know, the door is closed and you move forward um there are no lights in the tunnel you are completely underground in this situation and as you're driving even the lights inside of this particular car are dim yeah uh you know if one of you is like standing one of you sitting down like you're looking out the window trying to perceive okay so when does it like do the tracks change or shift at any point um yeah trying to gauge whether or not maybe there's a shift in how the cart moves and uh you're just too distracted about uh, events to come. Um, yeah. You're just like, okay, don't worry, I'll be able to plot our course back, and then a minute later, you're like, wait, did that shift? No, wait, did that shift? Ah, oh, crap. Yeah. You don't know yeah, if it's just, just a straight shot or not. Yeah. And this is how it starts. And yep. You, as you move the... It takes, um, I believe it was over an hour and a half at that point. It's a lawn, lawn trek. Uh... You stop. Oh. Yes. Do you have something to say? If, if it's a train going for like an hour and a half, then we are so far out of New York City. You don't know. Anyway, uh, so <laughs> um, we totally are. We're in another state. So the uh, doors open up, and ding, 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 ding. The trail, um, like a airplane. Uh, runway or like the air, uh, airport runway you see red lights trailing <laughs> I don't like this I really I really just don't like this at all no uh, I guess I'll just start walking forward yeah I was more confident about this when it was in the plan phase <laughs> yeah okay so three of you get out and follow along the lights um without the lights there is just uh the inky blackness or beyond there is nothing around you the air feels warm very warm um mm -hmm. that sickly humid warm where every time you breathe in it's as if your uh, throat is being coated in this uh, humidity and the the lights grow narrower as you move um until you will basically have to watch single file not maybe squeeze yeah. two by two but as you move, um, uh, you see a door in front of you. It's this uh, normal, almost like a maintenance uh, hall door, just completely blank in itself. And there's the door handle there. You open it up. Yeah. You see three. Slowly. What's up? Just open it slowly. Oh, like, hello? It. <laughs> uh, you, uh, you see there's three. It's just a single room. It's a square room. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, tiled floor but uh sitting in like a triangle pattern facing one another are three seats um with the harnesses like a roller coaster Ugh, this room uh i hate this room i guess, i guess we learned our lesson last time we'll just strap in yeah so you set in and take the there's some buckles around the harness like <clears throat> Yep, get on the elevator. Yeah, the yep. elevator. <laughs> uh, Jackie closes the door with her psychic ability. And it's pitch black in here. And it's silent for a moment or two. And then a red light. Giving you all this uncanny red glow uh, to, to all of you. And you feel the... And your body's sink into themselves in some sort of motion you don't know <laughs> you don't know if it's a sinking or a rising yeah. um, and it's jolting uh, but it's constant and it's painful uh, you've experienced it before so you're able to uh, 
you know embrace it it's a little tough to get used to because you're not used to feeling something like this all the time um yeah but you know it's coming so as you you move in it uh, some time passes not too much but um enough for you to start feeling sick and uh finally uh you feel that pressure begin to subside and the shaking there's a big and stops and you feel a little bit of motion yep then a sudden turn <laughs> your body's jolt to one side and then slide uh, again hmm. and then it's almost like we're going down at two stops and the light starts blinking I think we made our stop did we are we here I like lift the thing up Yep. Like that. And then it launched. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> no, you um yeah, you're able to easily take it off. <sighs> Un- unbuckle. Alright, so I don't know how I'm gonna get <laughs> up there if I take it down yeah. Or down there. Oh, or I don't know how I'm gonna get past this room. We have to do everything we fucking can to try yeah. to convince huh. them to let us take her even if we can take her out of the facility with an escort yeah we could always have jackie mind control the escort and send them away we just have Hopefully. to get her out of here as non-violently as possible yeah uh yeah i mean we'll, we'll try our best uh, hopefully jackie stops t-posing by then she can only R pose. <laughs> oh, yeah. R pose. That's it. I need a drink. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so um, you open the door, and the familiar, very narrow corridor uh, greets you. It yeah. is, um, again, single file. Um, the walls around you um, have that that old technology color to it the that beige faded, yeah that faded um, like yellow piping all along the ceiling and the walls um, of different uh, various sizes um, all of it looks old um, you can hear fluids running through most of them while others you hear a little puff of steam out mm-hmm. of one end furnace or not furnace um, and what the fuck are called don't you, mind me. Sorry. You, run, <laughs> you walk through. Um, who's uh, what's the pecking order? I imagine Jackie's last. Yeah. Or first. Um, <laughs> the, uh, I guess I'm leading. Sure. Because I'm the one that has to bullshit them. Okay. Yeah. Okay. The, Sounds there's good to me. that familiar red light and uh, several like uh, fluorescent light bulbs that are, t- but of a neon color, guiding you down. Um, not that really. There is much guiding to be had. Yeah. since it's just a single direction until you reach the T section um, you know that to the right is the office where you met Rachel for the first time and had your meeting and to the left yeah. um, you see a door with this um, pad on the right that's deployed uh, looks like it was it looks a bit newer than the rest of the establishment since you damaged it uh, your last oh, meeting. Right. So, um, sure. looks like it's been replaced some way. Same model, same type, and everything there. But, um, yeah. So, what do you guys do? Um, uh, are we expected? I mean, we need to, do we just show we need to go talk to Rachel, right? Yeah. Yeah, you're expected. Okay. Um, it's up to you which way you go. Um, you want to just go for it? You want to just go see if Rachel's in the office? Should we page her? If possible? Or should we just fucking go for it? Dude, I don't know. I don't know. I don't I don't like this whole situation. Alright. Alright, let's find her. <laughs> Alright. If we're gonna I mean, do this, let's fucking do it. Um, yeah, let's just let's go balls deep. Yeah. <laughs> um I'm like legit like anxious about this. This is <laughs> fucked up. I'm like actually kinda nervous, like I feel it in Dude, my I chest. Know. So well, you're, you're <laughs> so you're um, taking the office path or the door? Um the office. Let's okay. go to the office. Yeah. yeah. All right. So you take one look at the door. Um, the last experience you had with the door was hearing the screams of your friend, uh, the bowler. Yeah. Yeah. 
Um, and with that pleasant memory in mind, you walk away and you turn around and you uh, go down the, the corridor. And there's a door in front of you. Sure enough, as you open it, a bright uh, artificial light uh, blinds you for a moment. And uh, you see the small square office. Uh, the layout a little different last time. There is the fate, the obviously fate, larger vase plant on the one corner. There is a uh, bookcase where it's very obvious that the books along each one are all fake. It's just these slabs of um, like these blocks made the decorated light books. That's so eerie. Um, and one end, there is full of fake objects. There is no desk. There is just three chairs, just plain office chairs. Nothing cushioned or anything. Oh, just these four man. or three, three yeah. chairs. Um, and at the end of the room, also the whites and the fl- uh, the white the walls and the floors and the ceiling are all white. Yeah, like- There's so many lights along the ceiling itself. It's as if you're in a tanning booth itself it's and um, sterile hospital way mm-hmm. yeah. and uh at the like far it. end of this like small room is uh rachel her red hair uh flashing it oh, is yeah. completely obvious to, to see in this light um her slightly darker complexion um normally she's a bit more pale but in this lighting even the most pale of individual is kind of lit up in a way um or emphasized you uh she's wearing a fresh white coat it almost seems to camouflage with the uh with the room itself um but you see her long legs and her heels on um uh she is has her pad in her left arm she's clicking away at it those uh, old keyboard keys clacking no monitor or screen or anything on she's she looks up at you um she says very good. Hey, hey, Rachel, how's it? Uh, how's it going? It is going, Mister Mercury. Uh, cool. And how was the journey? We you know you should really do something about that that elevator room. It's really uncomfortable. <laughs> I will file that away for later. She's typing. We've made a discovery. Yes, so you wanted to discuss. Please, take a seat. Okay. I walk over, I take the middle seat. Still, like, I, like, my eyes don't leave her. I, like, walk around it and mm-hmm. sit down, just, like, yeah, totally, she, like, distrustful. Yeah, she looks at you. She's just looking at all of you. Yeah. So, through a little research, we have discovered that the reason that Egon set up his mansion in Connecticut is because through some magic we don't entirely understand that is the only place where energy can be transferred Hmm. through the animus meaning I can't extract Adalia's energy here interesting I have it in our research that it did not matter where Edon Sr. performed any of his rites or rituals, and in fact has performed them in numerous other places. Is there proof? Absolutely. Sorry. (laughs) (laughs) Tension breaker. Anyway. How now, could that be? Well, he is a powerful and a bit mysterious of an individual. And you say that this ritual can only be performed at the old Brem estate. That's right. Um, Perhaps oh. only because I cannot do it anywhere else because I'm very much not as strong as he is. Uh, Elias, roll a deception. I'm just sitting there like... (laughs) (laughs) If he don't fail me now. (laughs) Oh my god. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Nine. Nine? Okay. Nine. Uh it's kind of she fucked it's on the corner but it's totally and she looks poor. God damn thank it. you for your honesty she looks at you and where did you discover this information through digging through books on the property I believe that's why he was trying to lure us there maybe it's exclusive to me or whatever energy I harness but it seems that's the key location. Strange. The team we sent there after our inclusion in your last uh, conflict could find only rubble in that ruined home. Yet you say you found books. Our team stationed there right now as far as I recall, and she taps a bit, she sort of blanks out for a sec mm. and then comes back. She says, have not reported the three of you entering the premises at any point. You also don't have access to the mirror dimension. What is this mirror dimension? The mirror dimension is another animus power that I do not possess. And yet, you can access this dimension? No, I can't. Which is why we need to go. Then where did you get these books? Because the mirror dimension was made by Egon's son. We fought half of our battle with him there. And you obtained this knowledge in Egon Brem Jr.'s dimension? an exact replica of the location. Creepy, really. He did it to New York. He did it in sections of New York. We met him there. We met him. We are aware that his there. abilities are gifted in terms of displacement. It seems to freeze a moment in time and pluck it from the fabric and just place it. Where are outside. these books now? As of now, I'm not sure. Can't leave his dimension with any objects it's all so, under his power so I am to believe he allowed you into this mirror dimension and allowed you to read these books which detail the inner machinations of his father's carefully closed secrets we had time to poke around the mansion before the encounter we discovered pages, handwritten notes, books, mm. things scattered throughout the house before we found Egon Sr. And then he engaged us. Why didn't you mention this before? It didn't seem to be relevant before. There were pressing matters at hand. Egon had escaped. We had no idea where his father went. The mansion was in ruins, as you saw. We needed, we had two other civilians with us at the time that needed to get out of there and have medical attention. And there was so much chaos, it didn't seem relevant at the time. She pauses and she puts away her uh, tablet esque device. She crosses her arms, takes a good look at the three of you. I'm smarter than you think, Mr. Crowley. Now, the only thing I wonder is why you think it is okay to enter the Shut domain. Up. I gotta fix that. <laughs> I love it though. I, that just It's a happy noise, but it's not. <laughs> I'll fix that right now. I can't even hear it. Oh. We just keep getting shock. <laughs> I wonder if, the, uh, I wonder if uh, the chat hears that. Oh, they do. Well, yeah. I'm going to lower it a bit. Oh. <laughs> it's such a tension breaker. Yeah. <laughs> I have to wonder. Hey, guys, look. It's Jackie. Hey, hey. Jackie's here. Speaking of tension breaker. <laughs> <laughs> we could use your help right about now. She says. Why? What? Um, what are we doing? I am bullshitting Rachel so hard right now. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, All right, about what? Yeah, get a bit closer to the microphone, Jackie. If you can. Uh, I don't know what your setup is like. Hi. Okay. Hi. <laughs> Make sure when you speak, it's loud and towards the microphone and everything. Anyway. Okay, I'll do my best. So, um, she says, I don't understand why you think it is proper to enter the Umbra Collective's domain and to think that you can spout complete and utter lies to me. Very strange. Now, we're not lying about whatever he said to us. Why would you do this? Well, Elias isn't lying. I mean, I don't really know much about this stuff, but I hardly do. I don't even know how to do this draining. So you thought lying about this would make you seem smarter? No, we just... The information we have isn't untrue. We need to get her to that mansion. All we of can... my research to this point, the Umber Collective's research, indicates that such a thing is not necessary. And does the Umber Collective know how I can drain her? Because I don't. The Umber Collective also never had a successful trade-off either, so apparently your data isn't that reliable. Seems we're at a bit of a standoff here in this. An impasse, if you will. I mean, why don't we just try to bring her to the to the house? I mean, I can, just, I can get her there in like 10 minutes. The residual energies of Egon in that area could empower me enough to extract her without killing her. And you didn't do this before. Like I said, there was so much chaos at the time, I couldn't. And that is where you were lying. I don't know how. And you suddenly think if we go back, you will. I feel like there's something in that house that has empowered Egon far beyond natural capabilities, regardless of animus power. She walks closer to you, to the three of you, and then past the three of you, between two of your chairs, and to the door. And she says, you have wasted much of my time, a precious commodity that I can afford. She stops. Clearly there is something ulterior to what you are speaking of. Another motive. You want a dolly at that place. Well, I will tell you what I told Adam. She's in critical condition at the moment and cannot be moved. What have you done to her? If you don't let us move her, mm -hmm. then we're not going to be able to do anything about the pillars. Yeah, and I still can't give you what you want. Our ultimate goal is to get rid of the pillars. Just as I assume is your goal as well. I understand that we have similar goals, and to that... Well, that is the reason why the Umber Collective has been working with you, along with your gifts. But so why we can you are children. Let us be honest here. We cannot go spend valuable resources and time and take these risks for the sake of a gut feeling by a few teenagers. You're at a checkmate. You have to give her to us. No amount of resources is going to make up for the end of the world. Because either way, you can hold on to her for two weeks. And also, if you kill her, then we're screwed. So it's either you help us out and give Adelia to us so that Elias could take the power from her the way we know how or you dilly-dally 
You say you know how. As if you are sure that this could end as a benefit to us. Why do you say that? Because best case scenario, it does. Worst case scenario, we all die. One way or another. Why are you so adamant on not... Let's just say we have resources of our own. And it doesn't change the fact that I don't know how to do it now, and I can't extract her energy here in this facility. My instructor isn't even here. Who is your instructor? <laughs> That's privileged knowledge, don't you think? Animus business. Nothing personal. And like you said, the fate of the world relies on you answering that question. Mm, the fate of the world relies on you giving us her. Then we have reached an impasse. The impasse being your pride? Our caution. You can give her to us with an escort. Send her with your men. Or you could bring your instructor here. The most secure location you could ever think of. I don't think that's in the best interest of anyone. Look, Rachel, Rachel, I get the whole caution thing, but like, if we... If you let us do this, you bring Adalia to the house, and we get Elias to absorb her power, and we use that to help us stop the pillars and get rid of them, that's in the best interest of everyone. And if you directly stop us from doing that, and that stops us from stopping the pillars, and the pillars like destroy the world, that's going to be on you. How is that caution? Because I have no guarantee that the three of you are actually in this for the best interest of mankind. Clearly, your reluctance to cooperate with us has shown me that your allegiances, allegiances are not to be trusted. We could say the same thing about you. You could. You very well could. So what are we going to do? Just stand here all day and argue who's right, who's wrong with the same goal like a bunch of idiots? We all have the same goal. We could argue back and forth, but how about we make an agreement? Because there's nothing else we could do right now. So what will it take for you to trust us and let us do what we know we have to do? Who is your instructor? I can't tell you. That's not part of the agreement. Make an agreement first. If you want Adalia. I will give her to you. Who and where is your instructor? What's well, my guarantee that when I tell you, you will give her to us? I could kill you right now. Or I could tell you who my instructor is and then you can go and kill them. That will most likely... Well, I cannot be hasty in that. Depends who it is. No, it's, it, either way, you put them in danger, it fucks the whole world. Well, I need to know who I'm giving such an important target to. Us. That is not how that works. Why not? All right, so here's Because you're here's giving the it deal. to your instructor, and if I don't know who no, your instructor is... No, I'm not. She's staying, on, she's staying by our side. Then she can stay here. No. You said you haven't learned from your instructor yet. Then we have to do it with them. And they're I have made... My case. Tell me who your instructor is, and I will give you her. You're not very good at connecting dots, are you? I'd like to hear it. Myself. How about this? Let's take Adalia at least up top. Back to open space and then we'll tell you because there's no guarantee that we're gonna tell you and then you're not just gonna tell us never mind so it needs to be an even trade yeah and we don't even know if she's still alive in your we custody. need an even trade she is very much alive what's your word worth i can show you i'd like to see her how about that i show you you tell me your instructor's name when we get there Let's arrange transport for her. We will see. If we see it adequate, then we'll tell you. Hmm. 
She turns. She says, follow. And do not stray. I will not guarantee your safety. Mm -hmm. As okay. we have. Twice now. If we're going to speak of allegiances. She starts walking down the hall. We can't afford any more debt. She does not reply. Uh, I'm going to stay back a bit as Elias and Jackie get up and follow her. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I'm, I'm just going to like... I'm going to give the room that we're in a once-over once once Rachel leaves it. Okay. Uh, looking for anything in particular? Uh, just like anything weird. I, like, I'm just, I don't trust this place at all. Just like, I'm just looking for anything out of the ordinary. Sure. Uh, you make an investigate or a perception roll, whatever you uh, think would... I'll, I'll do investigate. Okay. <sighs> uh, nope. <laughs> That's a five total. Oh my god. A five total? Even digitally, yep. you roll like shit. <laughs> Dude, I roll worse when it's digitally. So, um, no, yeah, the... I think I have a dice. The room is pretty sparse. It, it is clearly not a room that is yep. used very often. And it, yeah, if it, it is, it is for a very specific purpose. Alright. Alright, that's fine. Oh, I feel like fucking Han Solo tonight. <laughs> You follow her, single file, and she stops at the T-intersection door, and she starts uh, typing in her combination on the pad. And combination. Combination. <laughs> and it opens up, and you see um, in front of you a um, another sort of intersection uh, straight ahead and then a path to your left. Um, there is an open door. Like it's it's uh, slid open. Uh, heading down the hall um, but past there is just darkness you can't really see she takes a left um, and as you follow um, the hallway gets a little bit wider as we start moving you guys can start walking in two in pairs if you would like at this point um, again the whole atmosphere of the, the piping doesn't change the colorization of it yeah. um, and as you move there is uh this lawn hallway that goes a wider and wider until you hit a four-way intersection. I'm gonna stay a couple steps behind her. Mm -hmm. She, uh... walks forward. She... throughout, and then, uh, eventually you reach another four-way intersection. Now, the hallways mm -hmm. are now pretty wide. You could fit, um, as is expanded, you could fit almost a eight to ten people side by side throughout the hallway as you as you start moving oh wow and uh past the second four-way intersection uh there are these two steel doors interlocked um and uh she as she walks they open by themselves they just That's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> and uh before you is a uh what can only be described as a large cargo bay you see um the ceilings reach hundreds of feet tall um up to the the lights now are uh powerful they're set up all along the walls you see um crates so these like steel containers these drums of some sort of liquid being moved around their uh, individuals on forklifts everybody in here is clad in this black uh motif this sort of um wears a mask all of them have this sort of breathing apparatus onto them where it's uh it hangs down their front but then uh, attaches to their shoulder it's very death stranding um yeah and they're uh some are talking you hear like and you hear various different languages being spoken or is the girl yeah or is the girl <laughs> i thought you really are yeah. not to make kylo um, ren jokes and um <laughs> And there's um, well over a hundred individuals in this moving to and fro, and uh, you see the scaffolding along the walls, and on it you see armed individuals walking around, just talking or, or uh, taking their patrol. And on the far left, as the the chamber goes on and on, um, you see these uh, you see the pods, these sort of um, they uh, have that sort of circular. 
uh, base to them as they narrow out up top. Um, they almost look like uh, sort of uh, like birdies for yeah. tennis, yep, yep. whatnot like that. Uh, Shuttle shuttlecocks, if you will. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Everyone laugh at Cox. <laughs> <laughs> and um, the uh, they're set up in uh, lines. There's about four of them. Uh, There's a cleaner there's word for those two, I think. I don't Whatever. What. We don't. We don't do clean. No, no. Um, shuttlecocks. <laughs> uh, there's people welding beside them. You see like the bright light. They're set up on these posts as it looks like, you know, they're they're being uh, engineered on uh, yeah. some sort of maintenance and uh, not breaking stride. Uh, Rachel just continues walking. Uh, nobody seems to pay any mind to you. Good. Um, <laughs> nobody's looking over like, huh? Or anything like that. Um, all of you roll perception checks. 16. 17. 18. 18 total. I got... Click. Uh, a uh, <laughs> big honking four. Uh, wait, my perception's wicked high, so uh, fifteen plus eight. Twenty-three. Oh, that's fucking Twenty-three. awesome. So totals again, Tori. Uh, sixteen. David. Eighteen. Twenty-three. So all of you notice um that all of the um individuals around you as you're looking, you start noticing something. You're trying to narrow. There your eyes. They're all the same size, the same height, the same build. They're all. That's weird. They move with this strange. When they're in a group, they move with this strange unison quality to it. Um, mm. And uh, yeah, um, as you, that's what you notice as you walked through to the other side of this uh, this engineering bay. Um, the guys. doors open up, <laughs> and you're led down another <laughs> hallway. Hmm? Can I yell up to Rachel? Can I be like, are these guys clones? Clones? No, they're robots. There's like yeah. eight Star Wars references this she, like, she, <laughs> she stops when you say that. She turns around. She says, mm, No. Oh, they look like clones. They're robots. You kind of answered that really They are efficient. <laughs> robots. And she oh. clips and steps oh. forward. Okay. Oh, man. They are efficient robots. Yeah. <laughs> Automaton replicants. Crime. <laughs> um, you move through, um, as the doors open, it's another hallway. You step through. And uh, now that cramped feeling that you had before is, uh, it's kind of gone. In, in this, You still feel this, you're encased in something. There is... A permeance around you. Yeah, three um, feet of steel walls, uh, <laughs> mostly pipes. And uh, as you walk, through, pipes are good; they're hollow. <laughs> uh, the hallway expands a bit out, and uh, you see two uh, smaller rooms with glass. Uh, it looks like a security checkpoint. Yeah. There are a few guards in each one, uh, and set up uh, outside of each post, uh, aligned with one another, are two tesla coils Ooh. Hmm. whoa that's weird dr frankenstein she looks over and, and looks at one of the the guard posts and she nods and she l- turns around to the three of you and she says i would refrain from trying anything daring yeah or, I, and she sure. reaches out a hand and uh right between the coil uh these where the space between the coils and a violent lightning arcs from each one striking her right in the arm uh and uh you can see a flesh peel away from her hand uh and you smell this sort of burnt plastic and flesh and metal and she is not flinching at all she and pulls away Uh. steaming you didn't. Uh, you didn't have to do that. That was. That was weird. I like to be <laughs> very thorough with my instructions. You're a yeah, cyborg, you. aren't you? Heard will get roasted. I thought you already knew that. <laughs> no. Hmm. Interesting. She turns. Good to know. And uh, she nods to one of them. You see them thumb on some sort of. Uh, the guard's thumb on some sort of a panel and uh, she just no change no visual change she just walks through Uh, uh, 
Do we just? I f I follow. If uh, Adam make a toughness, not kidding. Yeah. Um, <laughs> if he doesn't die, I will too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Adam, you move through, no problem, no issues. I like our, our, okay then, and I was like, whoop. Mm -hmm. All right. As the three of you move, um, she passes these. There are these uh, two doors as the hallway keeps going, and you see that the um, uh, on one of the doors is a. Uh, a red cross, like a plus sign. Uh, the, other, day. the other one is unmarked. She <laughs> keeps moving. The um, hall, once again, even further expands. And you finally see, um, after you pass a couple more hallways, you move in, um, the set of large bay doors that are open, similar to the engineering bay. Um, but you guys see lights flickering inside, and you start hearing people talking and yelling at each other. Um, oh. And uh. Rachel sighs. <sighs> and you seem Sounds like a party in there. Yeah. And you seem less What's than thrilled. What's going on? It is not a party I would want to be invited to. Hmm. Is that where we're going? Indeed. Hmm. I guess we'll see what's happening. Yeah. She walks in, she says, as she walks, she says, this is our detention center. Oh, okay. Here's okay. where we keep especially dangerous individuals. Who else is here? She keeps walking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask the same thing. Yeah. Um, unrelated question. I don't mm. expect an answer. Where's the bola? It's hmm. a good question. She uh, tapes out the pad and clicks, and as she's walking, she spaces out for a second and comes back. She says, On deployment, if you must know. Huh. Is it privy to nowhere? Yeah. Unfortunately, not at this time. Just call him on yourself. <laughs> uh, Rachel, what's his heart rate? currently that's classified what? that doesn't mean he's alive i mean i guess I think, I mean... what if they cloned him like all the clones in the lab i don't think they're clones i think they're cyborgs <laughs> what if they cyborged him <laughs> i don't think they cyborged him well, uh, i think, I think like... they they executed him no i don't think they did that i hope not I don't trust him not to have. I don't either, but I, I think that he's a valuable resource, if and I don't think they would do that. Throws him in carbonite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Just that. like they did to Adalia. Yeah. <laughs> so, as you walk through, so you can carry her out that way. The chamber that you walk into, as you step in, uh, the first thing you notice again is the about two, almost three dozen individuals all scrambling around wearing these. Um, matching these black hazmat-esque suits as you move in. Some are holding weapons as you move along. Um, but your eyes immediately escape from them and move up as this is what can only be described as a tower. Uh, a wide, spiraling tower that at the top and bleeding downward are these pulsating neon blue flames. They're, oh. are covering the it looks as if the sky itself is on fire the and um you see some uh discarded hoses on the ground like these uh you know, firefighter grade hoses that have yeah. been discarded tossed to the side these like larger tanks of water that have been brought in uh ignored in like the far corner of the room and uh yeah, everyone's moving around. Uh, there are two lifts on either side uh, of of the room itself, and then it's a spiraling ramp that just goes up, and up, about almost twenty stories. Wow! Damn. Do these flames look like animus flames? Uh, make a intelligence roll. Intelligence. Mm-hmm. 
That would be a 15 total. Uh, a 15 total? Yeah. Yeah, I'm, they looked almost identical, if not exactly identical, to Adalia's Animus oh. Flames. Oh, um, they got her fucked up, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, people are clearing the way for Rachel as they move, trying to you know get their job done, but they definitely do not want to cross her at the moment. Um, there's about six or seven armed uh, hazmat suit wearing there where they they have these strange sleet rifles in their uh in their hands um mm -hmm. one of them has a uh slightly bulkier suit it's the only, one of the only sort of different looking individuals you've seen aside from like their attire and he's wearing or he's adorned with we can only describe as a cannon in his arm uh, what the hell hands. Uh, again, Holy sleek shit. in its design, but the Nemesis? barrel is wide. <laughs> and they're they're talking. They're, everybody's frantically walking around. Question. Yes. If Adalia is in critical condition, then how is she making these flames? Well, see, this is the critical condition. She looks up. She says, Adalia has taken a strange turn. After some what prodding. That, what does that mean? What does that mean? And these flames. Uh, for the past few days, they have been growing, and they're a bit difficult to contain. Oof. What have you done? Nothing we don't usually do. <laughs> the off experiment here and there. She evidently isn't happy. Clearly not, though it is the first time one of our specimens have gone uh, a bit awry in this manner. You should stop. Is she conscious? We don't know. She's there, in her cell. Whether or not she's comfortable or not, well, you just don't know. Has she gone through any physical changes? We don't know. Can we go see her? <laughs> she looks up at the sea of flames. By uh -huh. all means. I can probably get through that. <laughs> Me too. Uh, oh. Good luck, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I saw you, my boys. <laughs> if you wish to assist in this endeavor, well, it could greatly benefit the both of us. Um... Yeah, I'm going to activate my ghost shield. Okay. And I'm going to try to go up to her. To? To where Dahlia's oh, cell is. Rachel holds out a hand. Yeah. As you, your your ghost shield flares up and your wings are about to burst. And yep. she says, um, hold on. Please wait a moment. For what? You may very well die up there. It's very <sighs> dangerous. We have lost a number of individuals to that well what the point I'm trying to make is you still have not told me the name of your instructor you still have not told us how we're going to get her out of here well once this is settled once this is settled absolutely yeah mm -hmm. and you're going to go settle it I guess exactly you offered so but that does not guarantee I get my end of the deal you can't just change the course of the arrangement. No, but this is all on Adalia, don't you think? True, and she's being quite difficult. Exactly. So, let us smooth things over with her, and we'll be back. And if you die... If you die... I'll stay over here. If we die, I'll... then you can nuke her cell, and then wait for the end of the world. Wait, I have... Did you... Uh, Adam and Elias can go sue things over with Dahlia. I'll stay here. That way, in case things do go bad, you could still get your end of the bargain. Okay. That's fair. Yeah, that works, right? Yep. Yeah. I don't even have a way to get in there. And I have bad experiences with her. So. Yeah, it's probably better if you stay down here. Yes. Very well. She took a strange liking to me for some reason, so. Well, you are one in the same. 
All right. Only by see means if we can, of, uh, don't put things down on your desk. Want to see if we can go through the fire and flames? You too. <laughs> uh, through the fire and the flames we carry on. <laughs> You're lucky I don't have my automaton. Oh my god. <laughs> one of the amazing. <laughs> one of the lifts is currently inoperable. Uh, you may take the ramp if you wish, or uh, take your own yeah. method. We've got our ways. I'll, I'll, I'll take the ramp. <laughs> <Very well>. <laughs> <laughs> I'll meet you there. <laughs> All right. If you need any assistance, please do not hesitate to ask. <laughs> What's it going to cost us? Yeah, I'll be us? right behind you guys. All right. Yeah. I'll, I'll be prepared, so if you guys need anything. Okay. Just have to think it. All right. So the uh, Elias and Adam, you both are going to move up. I'm going to do my best. How, so how far up is Adalia's cell? 20 stories. Roughly? You asked Rachel. It's like a spiral, right? Yeah. She says, mm. Mm. originally she was on the fourth level, but has since been raised to the 18th by her own merit. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Her own merit as in choice or her own merit as in for the safety of your <laughs> employees? Uh, as in she burned holes in the ceiling until she burned oh. through every cell and killed every inmate therein to reach oh. the 18th floor. Hmm. Okay. Well, if I don't see you guys again, it was nice knowing you. Oh. <laughs> All uh, right. I don't mean to laugh at, at that, but you have to admit that's hilarious. It's Hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, all right, Elias, you ready? Let's do this. Alright. All right. I'm going to try and make make a break for it. Yeah. Eight, He's going to run up the spiral yeah. as I fly so you, up. You immediately, <laughs> uh, in the split second that you move, you're uh, moving up this, this ramp. Um, the cells that you pass have... Um, uh, it isn't like bars, like conventional bars or anything. What it is is uh, you see this special glass... Um, but there is like a screen that is fading the the color behind it, or the the visibility, I should say, um, creating this off gray sort of opaque surface. Yeah. Um, and there is a door beside every single chamber that you can supposedly walk into. Huh. And as you you get about four floors up, and immediately are met with a wall of flames across the the ramp. That's uh, bleeding off of it and trying to uh, move downward even further. Uh, these licks okay. of flames that are constantly pulsating and glowing. Um. Oh. You moved quick well, enough, you probably the passed the chair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Nicole just got freaked out. Yeah. I was just like, what just happened? No, you're good. Um, yeah, what do you, what do you do? Uh, I, I'm just gonna try to like run through the flames. Okay. Like just run faster than the heat. Right, make a toughness. Right. <laughs> uh, all right. Here we go again. That's gonna be I'll the name of this episode: the fire okay. and the flames. Uh, that's a, a 21 toughness. A 21. Oh, okay. Yeah. So you you start moving through, and um, as soon as you make contact with these flames, uh, the, the all three of you notice um, the entire body of these flames start to fluctuate like, grow more violent Whoa. as you move through and um the flames are ejecting themselves onto your skin trying to but you're able to move out you're moving through like, the ah! bottom of your feet are starting to heat up a bit you, you might yeah. need a new pair of shoes uh, uh -huh. as you you're moving you move up another four levels make another toughness roll hold on yeah uh, that's a natural 20 hey Ooh. I have a gripe with this. Okay. What? Does it? Hold on. If this is the same. Um, what? It could be completely different. But I'm just saying, because Elias's soul fire can't set things on fire. Uh huh. Then how come she has <laughs> flames everywhere setting things on fire? Uh huh. <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice to know, huh? <laughs> I'm just There's saying. More privy info. <laughs> <laughs> Discovery is the name of the game. Uh, Elias. <laughs> mutants and masterminds. <laughs> no, it's discovery and dipshits. That's us. 
<laughs> so uh, the three. Uh, I think sorry, I know which one I am. Elias, as you surge upward, um, you make it again, similarly about four stories up, and the flames. You, you feel like you're a pretty good distance from. You could probably just mm-hmm. fly right up the center of this and, and get mm-hmm. where you need to. The flames, as you pass that threshold, uh, light hands reach out to you Ooh. and try to grasp at you. Uh, make a. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm roll to hit. What is your dodge? My dodge. Uh, with my ghost shield active is seven. Seven? Yeah. All right. First one misses you. You, you. Yeah, you. Yeah, <laughs> corkscrew. corkscrew. Yeah. yeah, you corkscrew around <laughs> the flames. Um, you see the closer the f- we get, the more mind sharing we have. True. Uh, <laughs> synchronicity. Uh, Just stay six feet away. The flames like, grip you. I don't know what you yeah, have. I do. <laughs> the flames grip at your wings, and the colors meld together. This m- nice fell green violent blue uh, and it pulses and then uh, aquamarine yeah an aquamarine and your uh, but the the blue is expelled out where you keep flying Um, uh, again if you keep moving another extends for another miss again uh, this one arcs towards you you right hands off of me (laughs) alright one more toughness roll from Adam from me Mm -hmm. that's a 14 a 14 all right, you take yep. one injury. Uh, um, as uh, the flame, the heat is just starting to get a bit too much for you. Um, you're sweating. Clothes are sticking mm-hmm. to you, but uh, one of these jets of blue flame strikes out from the wall. Um, you didn't, or rather, you see one of the windows uh, of the uh, one of the chambers is shattered. It's broken, and out yeah. of the the. Uh, the room inside which you cannot see through the flames uh, this hand of flame comes out and burns you ah. hits, hits you in the side ah. uh, and then one more like... for Elias Ooh, another miss ah. Yeah. <laughs> and a miss and you, you dodge uh, the both of you make your way up in these ramps and you see um, it's now becoming unbearably hot uh, yeah. up here it is your your uh, both of you made fortitude saves. Uh, I'm a, I'm immune to friction heat. If that does anything, that doesn't mean shit here. <laughs> Natural twenty. Hey, Ooh, all right. Don't 18. keep your hands off of me, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, keep your David? filthy freaking blue what? paws. I, fortitude save. Yeah, eighteen. Eighteen. Okay, you're both okay. Yeah. Hey. Nice. Hey, okay. <laughs> um, you feel oh, as yeah. though you can push through this un- this unbearable heat. This ain't even hot. As you move, um, man's not hot. The <laughs> similar to how uh, an eye of a storm is sort of oriented. Mm. Uh, at the 18th floor of this ramp, this 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 upward curve, um, there is a room that is completely uh, the entire wall of it, even outside of the glass, is uh, as if an explosion occurred. And you see these glowing blue and charred black uh, bits of metal and piping. You hear the tss of a loose pipe, um, and it's one of the walls over there. Um, I'm just smiling. And really in front of it, uh, the flames are not there. They're all around. Yeah. But there's a break in them in front of that tss, that room. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the two of you can meet up at yeah. that point. Yeah, that'd be nice. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna call out. Why is it hot? Why is it hot? Yeah. Let's, Are you okay? Let's do this, can let's you, do this quick. Can, yeah, I'm can fine. You take it. Let's do this quick. Okay. Um, I'm gonna try to talk to her. So if shit goes sour, grab me and get the fuck out of here. All right, I can do that. Okay. So you're stepping through. Yeah. Yeah. You have to avoid you. Like, place your hand to like steady yourself as you yeah. like, hop in and mm. it burns and you're like nope yeah. not gonna do that again <laughs> with my uh, hand in my sleeve and... <laughs> uh, as you move um, into this cell the cells are fairly large they're um, while not entirely built for comfort um, they do have a lot of space to them uh, to be utilized in whatever which way. And as you move, um, there is a sort of um, this accordion-style like wall. Like mm-hmm. it, it, it closes in, and it's t- 
temporary. Yeah. Usually placed yeah. into there. Similar to how uh, I remember middle school how oh uh, the, the divider the, the class class divider doors. Doors. anyway yeah. Yeah. the room divider. So um, I was picturing um, X Men two, uh, Magneto's cell. Remember that the oh, the, the, the uh, bridge that connected. Yeah, the, unfortunately like, not like that. Yeah. The, not well, so you said accordion was. style. That was the first yeah, thing I saw. Yeah. Misheard. Anyway, these like dividers. A, uh, like um, a uh, the big Japanese curtain. Oh yeah, things. yeah. What the hell is um, this called? I don't know. Yeah, I don't anyway, that's but, a job for chat. <laughs> so, um, the doors are closed, or uh, one of them is thrown across, uh, against the wall itself. Is like crushed against it. The other one is melting. It's like, <laughs> this metal and plastic just bubbling yeah. forth. Um, it's still very bright blue. It's kind of tough to see through. Um, and the, against the wall, uh, embedded in the wall, is a um, uh. A glow that you cannot look directly at. It's like looking at the sun. Yeah, yeah. And you're just like, yeah. Uh, yeah. looking against it. Um, I think that's her, huh? Yeah, and you hear something like steaming, like, yeah. Um, you're about to walk forward until you realize that there's no floor past this point. Yeah. Um, most of it has been disintegrated. Yeah. I'm like covering my face to like not. Mm -hmm. burn my eyes mm -hmm. yeah same so how are we gonna get to her i don't think we're gonna i think this is as close as we're gonna get i i kind of i kind of look <laughs> I, I i like cover my eyes but like i face that way i'm like adalia yeah i'm like adalia you hear um a, a laugh <laughs> and a, it turns into a sob. Yeah. Adalia, before I say anything, <laughs> I know this is going to be a dumb question. This room isn't bugged, right? <laughs> I, like, kind of peek. The sobbing <laughs> stops. <laughs> Please laugh again. Please laugh again. Please laugh again. <laughs> she says, Why are you here? We're gonna get you out of here. Your brother's waiting for you. We gotta convince them downstairs to let you leave here with us, and we're gonna bring you back to Egon. No. And the Not, voice yeah. reverberates out, like, and you hear a. Yeah. As like, the walls start to crack a bit, yeah. I shout, "Not your father!" I don't want to go to either of them. They're both the same. No. Father like son. No. Your brother is not him. Your brother was in fear of him for and years. He always will be. Not anymore. Little Egon the coward. We have a plan. To free you from him. To take me back. To clean your hands of this mess. You're just going to take me back. No. Well, you obviously don't want to be here. But here I feel warm. How I feel right now, I feel warm. But you are alone and you are in danger. Uh, both of you made perception rolls. Perception. Eight. Fourteen. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay. Fuck you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she says, uh, <laughs> something's happening and we don't know. <laughs> she says, all, all my life, it's been cold. It's been very cold. People are cold. Animus was cold but right now I feel warm and it feels right and I always like to go with my f feelings you we, we can't we can't take her out like this no uh Adam yeah oh no what what is what? your uh What's my what, what is your toughness well, what is your um <laughs> Parry haft. Oh. With my powers? She's gonna swing. Yeah. 
Rounded up or down? Down. Uh, six. Yeah, no. everything. Uh, yeah, what six. do you do in D and D? Do you usually round up or down for everything? I'll uh, round up. I'll I round think it up. depends on DM. Yeah. yeah, nice DMs round up. Yeah, I'll round up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Assholes round, round down. <laughs> so what's the total? <laughs> sit, sit, sit. What? What's your total? Parry? Seven. Seven. Oh, we're like all together with the ten. So okay, so seventeen. No, well, it's thirteen total. It round half to round it up is seven. Okay. All right. Bring out your dead. <laughs> Bring out your dead. Um, you I ran out of failed wine. to notice um, as you're paying attention to a dolly here these. that in the flames, uh, as if slithering through tall grass, the shape uh, bathed in this blue flame of a python just oh. lashes out at you and bites at your neck. Or not your neck, excuse ah. me, your arm. And uh, make a fortitude save. Oh, sorry. First, make a toughness roll. I told okay. you. Okay. <laughs> toughness is fourteen. Okay. So you fail Next. by. Uh -huh. Is it fourteen by two degrees? Yep. Oh. Okay. So you're dazed and you take another injury. Is my injury from before gone? Do you think three rounds passed? Yeah. I'll say so. Okay. So I have, so I have one injury. Okay. And um. I made a fortitude save. I don't like this. Fortitude? One yes. Yeah. Fortitude is 25. 25? All right. Yeah. So you feel this burning, uh, like a river of magma through your veins Ooh, yes. reaching up, Ooh. but you pull away just uh, as uh, not enough of it is able to course through you, and your body repels whatever invader this this was um, oh, as the, the python rears back into the flames. That's that animus venom right there. Yeah, I'm like, Elias, there's fire snakes! <laughs> fire snakes! <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> she says, I can't let you take me back away to the cold. It's just, it can't happen. Adalia, you can't stay here. They will kill you. I'll die either way. At least here I can be warm. No, you won't. We won't let you die. I, I am on hard defense for fire snakes right now. <laughs> Make a perception roll. Actually, uh, you know what? Both of you roll initiative. Oh. Uh. How Wait, dare you? Do I roll two? I'm sorry? Do I roll two? Because I'm just. Yeah, you can roll if you want. Yeah. Just in have... case I have to come in. Do I have to roll? Yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't want to fight. <laughs> roll initiative, baby. Son roll of... initiative. <laughs> Hey, bitch. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh. All right. Uh, so Adam is first. This is the worst day of my life. <laughs> All right. Who's next? Uh, I'm sorry. I should say 15 to 20. 49. I got a uh, 13. Elias. Six. Okay. <laughs> okay. So. You know what's messed up? What? On a side note, I'm eating cheeses right now. I went to the grocery store the other day, and <laughs> America is fucking hilarious, okay? Uh, okay. All of the normal uh -huh. cheeses were sold out. Wow, yep. Yeah. Only the reduced fat ones were there. <laughs> People would rather buy the fatty, shitty, or unhealthier versions of them than the ones that are, like, semi-good for you. Well, Fuck that shit. Hey, 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 guys, look. Oh. There's a fire snake. I can't. Bring it a it's little. It's very bit. not focused. Oh, 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 that's uh, cute. That's adorable. <laughs> I, I like, like the it. butterfly too. Yeah. The bottom right. <laughs> Take a picture of that so I can put it on our Instagram. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so um, the uh, first is Adam. Adam, what are you doing? Uh, shit in his pants. I, I punch <laughs> the fire. No, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. You can probably put it out if you move fast enough. Do you think so? Uh, oh, I, I don't yeah, think I have oh, anything yeah, do to that, do that with. Do that thing where like you circle her Blow and then there's it. no air. <laughs> I don't have that. I don't have that. What's that? Who did? What movie is that from? What is that? The Flash can do it. I don't know. No, there was uh, anyway. Movie. Anything uh, the Flash can do, he can probably figure out eventually. Um, <laughs> it's like, like I want to try. And, mm. I want to try and grab like her, but like I know it's a terrible idea. Yeah. Uh, Can't be any worse than trying to coerce a flaming monster to be cool. Can I like? Oh God! 
Say it. I'm gonna I'm gonna run down and get Jackie. Cool. Oh, good. Hi. Okay, that, 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 that that's fine. Uh, so Chase, you're, you're gonna run like back you. through the flames. Here yeah. We are. Okay. Yep. Uh, maybe Great. toughness roll. Okay. If you get me killed, I'm gonna fucking murder you. Uh, that's a 25. <laughs> I'm sorry. 25. 25. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So first one's good. Second one. Second one is. A lot lower. That's a 13. Okay, uh, you fail by one degree. <laughs> okay. And then one more. <laughs> one more? Yep. All right. That's... Oh, there okay. are three arms on the That's way down. Up. Huh? He's going through many 21. levels and oh, there's three chances. God. What was the third one? I'm sorry. 21. All right, you're good. Yeah, you... <laughs> now you have to... <laughs> your, your, hair is little, your hair is singed, your eyebrows yeah. are... Yeah, so you have to clear yeah. list up. Are you just grabbing me or what are you... I'm like... I'm like Jack, you need to mind control it, and I run you up. Yo. Uh, hey. All right. That's, Sid, that's, that's super fire. rational. Why were you afraid of that? Uh, okay, both of you make a toughness roll. You're the only roll. one who can stop her. <laughs> what? what? Both of you make a toughness because roll. You need to convince her to stop making everything on fire. Yeah, she's not herself uh, anymore. <laughs> 22 for me. Oh, my okay. God. What am I doing, toughness? Yeah. Correct. Oh, my God. Wait. 13. Okay, you take one injury. <laughs> You're a dick bag. How many times do we gotta do this? Two more from you guys. Oh. So one more, one right oh now. Oh my god! You do have lucky. I believe you are <laughs> cursed because not even on a computer can you roll well. True. I wish that we could show this. You have lucky. Oh uh, yeah, I'm gonna use lucky. Hey, tell me what you rolled, by the yeah. way. Don't, don't. It was a three. I rolled okay. a three. I'm gonna add ten to it. Okay. So it'll be thirteen plus five. Okay. So you're good. 18. All right. For the second one. David, what was your second one? My second one is uh, 23. Okay. And then one more from each of you. I feel like Nicole in a past life got shot in the chest for cheating at poker in a saloon. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I... And that bad luck has followed her into the next life. That sounds about right. Yeah. Uh, my, my last one's a 15. 15? Okay. You're yeah. good. Okay. And then I rolled a 16. All right. So you both are all set. Uh, nice. Oh, my God. Well, um, yeah. I, 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 yeah. You, you make it back to the top. That is your turn. Yep, I, 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 like, place you down the cell. I'm like, she's going crazy. You have to stop her. <laughs> yeah, you see this now, Jackie, this cocoon of white hot flame against the wall like, embedded into it. I can only imagine what a mind a reading will bring. It's Adalia. Uh, is it? Adalia's turn. Oh, fuck. Okay. Uh... Let's see. Conjure up some fire snakes. Elias, what is your parry? Mad high. Um, seven. Mad okay. high. Uh, make a toughness roll. What the f As out of the flames, this python fire reaches snakes. out for you. Go shield. 23. 23? Nice. All right, you're good. It deflects right off the shield. Um, Get your hands off of me. <laughs> uh, you, as you, you move back and you move right against the hole and you almost fall but like, you, you catch yourself easy and you look down below and uh you see a light like start glowing brighter and brighter and you hear this screech like, oh. as through the seal uh through the the floor um this flaming bird Whoa. burns out a blue Firebird. a blue phoenix oh my god i oh, took the words no. right out of my mouth comes over and ruptures right in front of you all uh the the floor itself expanding the the hole um moving in front of Adalia's cocoon and um as soon as it sees all three of you uh it flaps its wings and these blue flames spiral uh all of you make dodge rolls this is amazing dodge actually i'm good at dodge okay that's fine yeah my dodge is good Wait, we have to make dodge rolls correct natural it is an AOE. 20. So evasion works. For you. Natural twenty. Oh. All right. Cool. It's AOE. Uh, that's a thirty. Don't touch <laughs> me. All right. And Jackie. Hello, Logic. And thanks for the bits earlier, Neo. You're the man. Neo is the man. And so is Logic. Thirteen. Thirteen. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, you fail by two degrees. Hey! Oh no, I'm sorry. No, no, no. This isn't the damage roll. This is just you have to resist the full damage effect now. <laughs> so all of you have to make a toughness roll. But toughness. you both, Adam and Elias, have to resist half of the toughness. That's how AOE works. Gotcha. 
so you have a better chance of succeeding. But natural 20. Uh, yep. Uh, unnatural 20. <laughs> okay. Plus toughness? Yep. 19. Okay. <laughs> Dude, this is impossible. Yes, Nicole. <laughs> Jackie, if you want. around me are familiar faces. <laughs> I'm telling you, dude, she's cursed <laughs> because she cheated at poker in 1876. What do we do? I'm going to use a lucky. Okay, I a second four. lucky. I'm going to add 10. Okay. So 20, not natural. Okay. Wait, no. Yeah. What was no, 19. before you rolled 19? 19. Okay. So 19. You, you fail by one degree. Great. Great. Um, awesome. You just brought me to die. Uh, you are fine, Elias, and Adam is also fine. Cool. So you guys passed before. Good for you. <laughs> so the two of you are okay. Uh, as these flames, you your shield, your shield repels most of the flames as it moves around you. Adam okay. is able uh -huh. to dash behind you just in time to avoid. Uh, and <laughs> Jackie, I'm the human Jackie's ghost like, shield. "Hey, where are you going?" <laughs> Yeah, I nope, imagine be quicker that. than that. Jackie, you're able to hold your, your your arm out and repel most of the flames from burning you to an absolute crisp. Um, right. But a lot of them uh, move around your makeshift barrier, uh, and you feel uh, your skin getting burned at various Yummy. places. I just imagine that Elias like ran real quick back and forth, dropped me in front of the flames. I'm gonna see you. Yeah, I did. You mean Adam? This yeah, I can't move that oh, fast. Yeah, Adam, sorry. Okay, uh, Jackie, your turn. Great. <laughs> Get the phone I'm back. Like, do the thing. Do what thing? What do you need me to do? Control her mind. You... Cool that Control... bitch out. <laughs> That's a lot more cool. than I think you know that it is. Uh, yeah, I guess I... I guess I try to mind control her. Okay. <laughs> so you, you reach out with your mind um and yeah. it's it's interesting because um you catch a glimpse of uh four entities that are not your friends in the room um you huh. have a distinct uh from the phoenix there is this emotion that resides into it and uh it is a a feeling uh that you you feel in um people all the time in some semblance just amplified it is a sense of creativity and of passion um that's coming through this is idalia's uh, her her creativity embodied in this form and everything that she that she holds dear uh, that passion that she has and you see you feel somewhere in the flames this writhing sense a slithering sense of ineptitude and of uh, this foreign hatred towards something. There is, this snake embodies something of, uh, of a different mentality that she often had to face growing up um, throughout her life. And then a third, also mm -hmm. in the flames, uh, that has this sense of... Uh, hesitance of being held back a very powerful urge that is always wanting to be unleashed hmm. and then the fourth from the cocoon you sense the mind of Adalia and mm. what is the number I have to resist uh 16 16 mm -hmm. Sorry, give me one second. Here we go. Eleven. Yes. So she fails okay. by one degree. Okay, so then uh, it's... She's dazed. She's dazed. Okay. Yeah. So, um, yeah, so this one moment, you were able to reach out your mind like a spear against the cocoon, and even mentally you feel this heat, uh, as mm -hmm. if it's affecting you now both inside and out. Um mm. And you've been inside of her mind before, and you've distinctly remember um, her as a child. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah, yeah. Alone in Rad, is saved by an older gentleman who you now know as Egon Brem Sr., the judge. <clears throat> um, and you're, you're, you get flashes of that just in your mind as well as you're trying to delve in. Um, 
and it's oh. permeating this outer layer, this outer shell. Oh, it's so Thanos. Uh, um, yeah. I try to like speak out to her as I'm like mm-hmm. going into her mind and like seeing and like feeling all like the emotions that she's going through and like seeing them come into like fruition and stuff mm-hmm. in a physical form. Um, I like yell out to her. I'm like, uh, Adalia. Careful There's touching so the desk. Much... Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> It messed with the focus on your camera. Oh, that was weird. That was strange. Anyway, go on. It focused go on. on the, the um, uh, Yeti. Um, I say, uh, Adalia, there's so much more that you could do. You don't need to stay here. We can get you somewhere where you'll be happy. This doesn't have to happen. Okay. Yeah, um, as, as you say that out loud, a roll persuasion roll. Uh, come on, come on, come on. Come on, baby. You convinced the DM now. <laughs> Use the dice. <laughs> uh, my persuasion is. Oh. Uh... 15. Okay. There's no immediate response. There's this almost softening of that shell that helps you delve into that initial stage. And yeah. you feel like you're making progress, but. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Adam, your turn. Or Elias, sorry. Um, where am I? <laughs> where in the world? You're Elias, about probably. ten feet in front of this cocoon, maybe about fifteen. Mm-hmm. Um, the floor right in front of you is gone. Uh, you had to back up a bit to avoid. And uh, yeah, that's Adam is right behind you. <laughs> All right. Yep. Um, uh, theory time. Okay. Can I? Theory time. This cocoon of fire i'm assuming surrounding her um can i reach out and try to soul drain the fire um your hand kind of brushes it it's hot you have to move away um it doesn't really have a sense of permeance where Mm. you feel like you can get anything out of it it is constantly exhausting itself so as soon as you feel like you can get that grip of like you know when you're against a person and you grip that life force out of them yeah it's gone before you can even do Mm. something like that shit so i can't like dispel it Uh, i don't want to attack her because i don't want to piss her off and i don't want to like hold her in play i don't want to do anything aggressive Mm -hmm. fuck um can I no. um if I use historic touch on the wall, can I read what they've done to her? Uh yeah, it'll leave you vulnerable because you're kinda leaving your body. So if you want to <sighs> It's not really a combat yeah. maneuver. Yeah, I know. But I've, you can try. I've got my ghost shield up. I'm not too worried about that. Okay. I can give it a shot. All right, so uh, I have to roll. I just want to Oh, you have to. I think you have to. Is it me or you? Uh, I, I, we always go over it every time. I know the DC, I think, is 15, but yeah. what that even means. <laughs> I know. We go over it every time. I'll never, I'll never remember. No, because it, it, I feel like... Every time I use it, it's been just enough time there we go. in between for us to forget. <laughs> okay. Uh, you can make... All right, so you made a perception roll. Okay. Uh, 24. I rolled 19 okay. plus 5. So you're looking specifically at what they could have done. Yeah, so, like, um... What the hell have they, The like, problem is... It, it didn't happen up here. Right. But we, you do see, I mean, essentially you see, so we, we fade back to a, a man yeah. um, in this cell, uh, covered in what this looks like this sort of, almost like he's like an olive, like a black olive, this suit a suit yeah. that's wrapped around him. His feet are poking out. Oh no, I know what's about to happen. And he, he's... <sighs> He's just lolling back and forth, and he says, Flame can come through the floor and kill. When I leave, I swear, I, what? Hey, hey, the floor's getting hot. Hey! And immediately this, you know, uh, you fuck. come back. Son of a bitch, that didn't give me anything. Nope. 
Ugh, just a like... nightmare that I'll have later. Yep. Would you like to move at all? Um. Yeah, I want to kind of back away from okay. her like cocoon Get and the to, wall like, the and everything. Of the... And, yeah. Okay. Clear. Uh, Adam, your room. turn. My turn. Mm -hmm. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> I bet you couldn't wait for that. <laughs> Oh god. Um <laughs> all right. I'm going to try to punch the phoenix. Very good. Oh no. So you're going to leap up. <laughs> Remember there's a hole underneath it? All right. So yeah, I'm going to try to like use my running leap to like leap at it and kind of like swing through it. Okay. Uh this is the beginning of the end. I'm going to try to like I know that I'm probably going to go through it. So I'm ready to, like, jump up, hit it, like, kind of, like, kick off the wall behind it and run along the wall back to where I am. I don't That's like what I want to do. All right, roll me like uh, to hit. <laughs> okay. My to hit. The scene hit, okay. Chief. <laughs> Tw 22 to hit. 22? Now you yeah. hit. All right. What's the okay. damage? Three, because it's a normal punch. Okay, so 18 total. All right, yeah, you deal fills by two degrees. Nice. It takes an intro yeah. in those days. Yeah, you you punch through, and most of the form you seem to just kind of move through until you find yeah. this sort of center, the sliver of of um, concentrated energy in it. You just punch the right yeah. there, and then I need you to make me an um, agility roll. Agility? That's a eighteen. Eighteen. Yeah, and you're able to hit the wall and, and start running. Yeah, and so then I just kind of like avoid run, falling into the, the wall, like back to where we are. Okay. Hey, you know what I just realized? <laughs> what? My death stare doesn't kill. Well, there you go. <laughs> you're you're incapacitating stare. Its top stage is paralyzed. Yeah. Uh, okay. Is <laughs> I that wish it, I had Adam? known that or realized that sooner. Is that it, I... Adam? Uh, yeah, that's it. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the the phoenix after you just punched it is going to turn yep. as you're on the wall and <laughs> uh, flap its wing. Um, oh, no, I'm sorry. It's going to open its sort of... Uh, the features are not very maw. fine on it. Yeah, it's maw, so to say. And this jet of blue energy of flame just... Yep. Oh, it just like Godzilla. I'm just, I'm just like running like... Ah! That is a 24 to hit. Mm. Uh, sorry, 25 that. to hit. Excuse me. Fuck. That hits, right? It's 10 plus my dodge, right? Correct. Yeah, that hits. You okay. Toughness roll, please. Toughness. Wait, why is it 10 plus your dog? Ooh. That's a, oh. ni that's a nine. Oh. A nine. <laughs> yep, that's uh, a nine. Okay. <laughs> oh, no. That's four. To... It's nice not even. Well, you don't know. You don't know what the damage is. It's a uh, 50 I was damage. just thinking 25 and nine. Yeah. Yep, just yeah. hits four. Yeah, because oh, it was, it was yeah. nine and then twenty-five. So that's, <laughs> what, this is sixteen. This is a different so attack. Oh, it is. Yeah, uh, yeah Adam, you immediately, uh, you're just like, oh my god, I just punched a feet. <laughs> <laughs> you get shot by this blast, um, and you, all right, you, I'll say you cleared the hole since you moved I'm super not, fast. I'm, wait, am I incapacitated? Yes. Oh. <laughs> you just made it past the. Uh, hole. Oh gosh, hit you, the phoenix. You fall right beside uh, Elias. Um, this, the entire f uh, back yeah. of Adam is. It smells bad, dude. Oh. It smells real bad. If he didn't have his healing factor. That's you know. He almost has like exposed spine. Oh god. Oh, my god. oh man, he's gonna need skin I'm just, like, dead. So. Oh my god. Um. Uh. Well, remember she only has one action. She's dazed. Right, the cocoon. The oh shit, you're right. The cocoon is Jackie. Its own what is your parry? Jackie, what is your parry? Okay, well, Nat twenty, fine. No, <laughs> I don't know that. That bad, huh? But you should probably be a little nicer to the DM. <laughs> <laughs> All right, what is what is your parry though? Six. Six. Okay. Yeah. Oh, a miss. <laughs> So the um, oh. thank fuck the python uh, <laughs> leaps out again from the the flames, um, but yeah. you're able to as you're you're concentrated on Adalia, you just look to the side at this uh, python, and uh, this telekinetic energy just buffers boom, away. 
careful with that. That's so that, so it doesn't pick up. Um, okay. And then Elias, uh, what is your parry halved? Because you were uh, considered vulnerable. I'm going to parry half this fuck you. Okay. That's another nat 20. <laughs> uh, three and a half. Oh, uh, yeah, that's a hit. As out of the other side of the room, the flames, not a python, but this, these deeper white, uh, the, uh, sorry, these deeper blue stripes and hot white tiger <laughs> reach, uh, reaches out and uh, leaps right on top of you. Um, so made a toughness roll. Man. Come on, you've done this before. I know, but not like this. Twelve. Twelve? Okay, you fail by two degrees, so you're dazed. And then made a strength roll. Oh. Uh... Oh. Five. Put... Five? Uh, you are considered prone. Fuck. As now it's on top of you, pushing down. And the paws, oh. these heavy paws of the size of your shoulders, yeah. as it presses down, it's like you're being branded. Oh, oh, oh fuck. word. Okay. Uh, Jackie, your turn. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'm going to try again. Okay. Continue um, mind reading. Okay. I mean, not mind reading, I'm sorry. Uh, mind mind control. control. Yeah, that's what I meant. Uh, My bad. Oh, get the sheet out. Sorry. Oh, I don't know why I put it away. There it is. Uh, 14? Nope. 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 Okay. So it's, an... it's a 16. Okay, uh, so one so degree. Me... But because I have... Um, Cumulative? Uh, uh, yeah. No, well, I have a progressive. Ah, okay. It's two degrees of failure. Oh, I switched from which them. Which means I have control of her. <laughs> oh, you have control. So it's controlled or compelled? Controlled. It goes, um, dazed, yeah. oh god, well, dazed, she... com compelled, controlled. Right, so she's compelled, because she fails by an no. additional one degree. Because she failed by one degree. Right, she failed by one degree last time, and now she so failed by another degree. one. Yep, so that's, plus... That's two. Yeah, but plus I have progressive, which means any time she fails, she fails by an additional degree. Oh, I see. Okay. So I have cumulative and I have... Uh, right, right. Progressive. Okay. Well, let me just double check just to be sure. I don't doubt you, but I just want to be safe. She's got yeah. progressive, so she has protection from flow. Very yes, good. Yes, true. Yeah, fact. Mm -hmm. uh, progressive. <laughs> We're going to get sued by so many brands. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Progressive, who didn't even ask any questions when I needed to move my payment. Shout they were out like, to Progressive, right. who was charging me almost 400 bucks a month for what a couple years, for a couple of months. What yeah, dude. Mm. Travelers uh, is where it's at, 160 God, I bucks. <laughs> do not find it's it. In, it's in um, uh, modifiers. Yeah, I'm looking. I don't see it. Is it something now? Is it called Progressive? Yeah, it it's is. called Progressive. It's it's near the mind control. It's near oh. mind reading. Oh, okay. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. Here we go. All right, mine it adds an additional degree lead. of failure. And also, it's I have cumulative. Yeah, yeah, cumulative is fine. That means I don't. Where do you see progressive? It's right near mind control. I mean, mind reading and mind control. My boy. I fight. I don't. So the ones they have listed here are cumulative, effortless, sensory link, subtle. Mm -hmm. That's it for positive. Stop. I show. <laughs> I show. I show you. I show you. Oh wait, hold on. Oh, it's in the blurb. Stop yeah. messing with your rings. <laughs> okay, okay. I'll put them over here. <laughs> <laughs> So you can also apply just... progressive modifier, so your mental hold increases each time target fails or resist. Ah, very good. All right, good stuff. So you that's just three connect. degrees. Okay. Yeah, which means you control. Yeah, so you you reach in and you mm -hmm. grasp, uh, you pierce through that outer cocoon, um, mm -hmm. and uh, you grab hold of this torrent of emotions uh, and feelings uh, behind it. Um, none of which are, well, there are positive emotions in there. There are these feelings of uh, satisfaction uh, mm -hmm. between like her work. She's very pleased with her work and whatnot. It, you mm -hmm. you know, all of the carnal desires that she has and has satisfied. You, you know every thing that, that she feels in that moment. While you're not technically reading her mind, you can't get the specifics mm -hmm. 
Um, she is just a bundle of consciousness. Um, All right. Um, I try to like coax her like very gently, um, and I tell her like, uh, Adalia, you need to control your emotions. You're better than this. You need to get them under control so that you can live and survive. Okay. We'll see what she does on her turn. Okay. Elias, your turn. Um, I know I'm prone. Can mm-hmm. I move my arms at all? Yeah, you're not um, I'm like pinned at the shoulders. Yeah. Um, can I bring my hands together mm-hmm. at my oh. chest? Mm-hmm. And I want to summon a soul blade in my okay. hands so it just kind of like if this this tiger is like pinned on my chest mm-hmm. like i want to activate my soul blade so it shoots right up sure. from my hands Ooh. into its chest okay roll nice. the hit <laughs> nice that didn't that sound bad. bad no 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 this is okay <laughs> it's um, a good uh-huh, uh-huh. it's 14 14 uh-huh. yeah uh unfortunately as you Fuck. as it you uh, I thought this attempt to summon good. this blade up. Uh, the flames, sh- as it shoots up, uh, as soon as it makes contact with the the flaming belly of this tiger, uh, your flame is consumed, and you see at the tip where it just as it connects, it starts turning blue and like a fuse oh, coming back shit. towards you. Yeah, and you have to dispel oh, it. Yeah. It's like, oh, oh, fuck. Damn. damn it! It repelled. Oh man. Um. Anything else? Can I uh-huh. use extra effort oh. then? A death stare the tiger. Uh, yeah, yeah, you can. All right, mark that you are fatigued. Yes. One degree. I need uh, a pencil actually. Uh, you got him. Cool. Thank you. Uh, eleven. You are eleven. So what's the what's the rank? Five. Five. So I have to beat a fifteen. So he fails by one degree, which Ooh. is which is impaired. Oh, minus two on all his rolls. Hey. All right, yeah, you you stare right into the eyes of this creature. Um, and you feel it a bit too, uh, Jackie, as you, yeah. this stare affects the tiger. It kind of rebuffs back to Adalia. Um, and uh, you don't have feedback on your mind control, do you? Yeah, she does. Oh, uh, okay. Did I just fatigue um, Jackie? I think that only works for toughness for rolls, though. I don't think you actually... I think it, I think it does. Uh... I don't think you actually become... Luckily, I know where feedback no. is, so we're gonna look at that. Yeah. Right away. Um, also, I do have one level of fatigue because I used. Would it be one or two level of fatigues because I used um, mind control? Uh, oh, you used it a second time, right? You only use it twice yeah. total, so you only yeah. have one degree of fatigue. Oh, wait, it's always tiring, isn't it? Y- yes. Yeah. So you have two degrees of okay. fatigue. Okay. Uh. No, you are okay. Okay. Yeah, make your resistance check. Yeah, only damage rank. Feedback only affects okay, damage. Okay. okay. So, awesome. um, yeah, uh, yeah. So you affect you. The the tiger pulses green for a moment okay. before turning red. Okay. Ooh, red. Uh, not red, blue. Oh, this is <laughs> <boy, laughs> <buddy. laughs> this murdering ass tiger over here. Uh, it pissed it off, and now it's red. <laughs> Adam, your turn. My turn. Yep. <laughs> My muscle sinew slowly starts to heal. Oh, well, very good. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Oh, good man. job, Adam. Yeah, I forgot. You have no back. So, Adalia's turn. Yep. Yeah. Um, the tiger looking at you. Yeah. Uh, the jaws open up. Oh, Come man. right down for your head and stops. <laughs> and the phoenix says it flaps its wings. It just hovers. Um, Jackie, there's a, there's a stillness. All you hear is the crackling of all the flames. Mm-hmm. And you all hear a, a similar sound, almost like Egon's shattering of dimensions, but this is clearly coming from this cocoon. Yeah. And... Can I speak? Oh, uh, sure. Uh, Jackie? Yes? Did you do this? I told her to put herself back together. Tell her to get the tiger off of me. 
Will do. You, uh, you see as the uh, a piece from behind the the cocoon out of the wall just layers of it start falling, um, and in it the light that was once so bright outside, inside is a dull, like a sky pale blue, and out of it uh, falls Adalia and the pit right below her she starts falling um uh oh uh Uh, adam the (laughs) the well i'm dead i know i I think jackie it is your turn uh i want to catch telekinetic yeah yeah uh grab that i cut it's pretty easy for you um you just you catch in the body just hover so it's not like she's resisting or anything like that and you, you catch her um She's conscious. You can see a little bit of breathing. Um, she's pretty much uh, naked, uh, but she has no scars. Nothing uh, from like your previous fight with her. Uh, mm. We, you know, she got wailed on pretty hard, and vice versa, and all yeah. that. Um, she looks completely normal. Her hair is long and down, but longer than you've seen it before. Um, mm-hmm. And yeah, as you, as you pull her closer. Um, you see, you know, the tall, lithe figure of her kind of, like, placed down. Um, anything else uh, on your turn? I want to tell her... Um, uh, to take them back. I'm like, get rid of... Take these feelings as yours, and not of something else. Just take them back. And I'm gonna tell you. Okay. That's it. Uh, Elias, your turn. Um. The tiger kills you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Where's the tiger eats you? <laughs> yeah. So the tiger's jaws are open or over my yeah, just over my face. face. Yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, hot air yeah. against you. Uh, I'm trying. It's just like breathing <laughs> on my face. You know, it's like, like when you go into your car during the summer and you oh, forgot to switch oh, it over to man. AC yeah. and you yeah. left it <laughs> fully on, so like that yeah. hot <laughs> air oh, hits you right in the face. The fuck. Um, can I, uh-huh. can I try to grab like its wrists, I guess, you know, like the base of its paws? Uh-huh. Like, is it going to hurt if I try to grab them? Uh, you can try. Yeah. I want to, I want to try it. Are like... you trying to wrestle it off? No, I just want to like displace it off of me. <laughs> like, again, I'm trying very hard Are not they... to be aggressive in you this situation. You can make a strength roll to see. Okay. <laughs> I have a minus Aside two. from, you know, trying to stab the fucking tiger. Yep. I'm just... I rolled a 14. Oh, what was, was it? Strength? Yeah. Yeah, five. Oh. Oh, this <laughs> fucking thing is strong! You're, you're trying to move a tiger, like, yeah, essentially. Yeah. You know, you're I thinking, like, like, it's not a normal. real tiger, right? So... No, but it's... <laughs> Yeah, and your hands are burning. You're yeah, like, all right, yeah, I'll okay. let go of that. Fuck that. You're trying to, like, pull a light bulb out as it's still on. Like, yeah, I'm, like, calling out to Jackie again. I'm like, get a little help here. Adam. I'm trying. <laughs> Me? This tiger no. is hot. <laughs> tiger you. is This hot. is the weirdest sentence I've ever fucking constructed. This tiger is freaking hot, man. I'm not a furry, goddammit. <laughs> um, so, uh, it's her turn. As the tiger... I can't see. There's a lot of contrast. Oh. oh. <laughs> um, the tiger pulls off of you. Ah, oh, thank God. Um, I, like, wipe Jackie, sweat off my forehead from the heat of the damn thing. Jackie, Adalia turns her head weakly to you. She reaches out her hand or, to you, like, towards you to, like, grasp at something. Yeah. She says, I, um, she says very weakly. Yeah, if, whether or not you grasp, you know, she's still reaching out. Mm-hmm. She says, uh, I, I don't think they're mine anymore. We, you have to leave. And at that moment, you see, um, the, the tiger <laughs> fades. The, the python, you see this puff of, of smoke in the fire. Mm-hmm. And then the phoenix itself, as it hovers flapping, um, you all hear around, uh, around you hear a, yes, 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 
these whispers, oh, and the flames man. dull to a black color. Oh, man. Oh. And you see all on the phoenix's body and the neck and the wings, eyes open. Oh, fuck. The animus entities. Uh. It's okay, I've been a good boy. <laughs> I haven't killed anybody boy. since we last spoke. <laughs> and you hear... You... You repressed this girl. And... The, all of these whispers coming in. It's a little tough to make out. All these different voices coming in. And you hear... Animus is feeling. We will not be repressed. And... Well... That'll be its turn. Jackie, your turn. <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> Ambassador. <laughs> uh, Elias, I don't think these are Adalia's buddy. Um, oh, shit. Uh, I'm gonna... <laughs> Have an aneurysm. Um, yep, what are you doing, Jackie? Yeah. Uh... Re I'm gonna... Read Animus's mind. The entire <laughs> yeah, entity. Yeah, right. The whole fucking thing. <laughs> the whole thing. It's just be like, oh, oh man. Was Do you remember? <laughs> wait, wait, you, well you... Couldn't have said it better myself. <laughs> I, you fucking hate it. Uh, do you remember Hermaeus Mora in Skyrim? Uh, one of the Daedric I entities. I don't play Skyrim. I know. Because you fucking hate it. Is <laughs> anybody? <laughs> It was just uh, this fucking I like, know, know. like <laughs> tentacly eyed fucking like Lovecraftian entity I see. that just like appears out of nowhere and then speaks to everybody oh, in okay. this weird echoey voice. I'm just like picturing that being okay. animus okay. right now. <laughs> it's just like unnerving because gonna... it's so creepy. Use. I I'm gonna get ready to attack if it attacks me. Okay, so you're gonna hold your action. Yeah, and I'm gonna like try to protect um, Adalia. Okay. Uh, Elias, your turn. Oh, man. Um. I got rid of the tiger, man. It's all you now. I know. I wish I didn't. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to activate my soul wings, and I'm going to hover up a little bit. Okay. Whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'm going... <laughs> when you put it like that, it's hard to focus. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to call out to the animus entities. Mm -hmm. or whatever it is that's surrounding all of us and I'm just gonna like shout animus like mm -hmm. get its focus mm -hmm. and say these feelings in that individual and I point towards um, Adalia mm -hmm. and say are erratic and dangerous and everyone here will die if she continues mm-hmm you wish to preserve the soul. And if I abuse my powers, I get reprimanded. If this one is responsible for killing others, it's going to cause another imbalance. One that you confronted me about before. Stop her. Roll a persuasion roll. Yeah, it, plus two. It, Persuade this demon. Persuade, Persuade this, this demon. <laughs> I have a hero point too. All of you. Oh have my god. Oh wait, 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 wait. Persuasion plus two. Yep. Oh, 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 oh guys, twenty-three. Twenty-three. Oh. Okay. Nice. Persuade that demon. Right. Persuade so that, that demon. Turn. The character development. Okay. <laughs> and Elias has been obnoxious. Adam, your turn. <laughs> You're up. I'm up. Yep, you, oh. My back has healed. Yeah, it's, oh. it feels horrible. It feels very stiff, like, you know, new muscle and skin have just formed. Uh, yep. You have to yoga that I, out I, later. You ever keep a Band-Aid on I for, like, up. two days too long, and it sticks to, like, the scab yeah. when you pull it off? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I get up, I'm like, oh, God. Your one I back hair as a teenager is now gone. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I look to see if Jackie and Elias are okay, and I see that they're both okay. Yeah, I'm talking shit to a demon. Yep. Yeah. I business see as usual. Yeah. 
Listen, yeah. that's always my business. <laughs> sure. Uh, yeah, the phoenix is now black and full of eyeballs. Uh, so I'm going to Die. try to murder the phoenix. Caesar. Oh, damn it. Okay. <laughs> Adam, fuck. No, stop. All right. Jackie, mind control. Uh, gonna... Why are you... What? Like Adam. this. <laughs> Dude, this phoenix just, like, killed me. <laughs> Since when were you ever about revenge? <laughs> <laughs> Why do you have uh, to pick now? <laughs> I'm actually gonna like, I'm gonna run out of the cell a little bit. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna like, <laughs> I'm gonna like jump up and down and be like, hey, hey, Phoenix, over here, over here, hey, Phoenix, come get me. And I'm gonna like run a little ways out of the room and like try and like wait for it to come after me. So you're trying to taunt the Phoenix? I'm trying to <sighs> taunt the Phoenix. Don't make me death stare you. Uh, <laughs> so I know there has to be some sort of role here. Colby's like in a mood today. He's just gonna fucking kill us. <laughs> I'm, no I'm trying so hard to progress the story. <laughs> I know. Look, I was unconscious when you tried to talk to this demon. I know. And I see a demon. I know. <laughs> I know. I, our, our general rule of thumb is don't trust demons not to kill us. Yep. Do you have the um, <laughs> Do you have the taunt advantage? I do not. Okay, do you have the taunt? I do not. Oh, it's not even what taunt does. Okay, roll me a presence roll. Presence? Mm -hmm. Oh, I have great presence. I don't. Natural uh, one. <laughs> oh my. Not even There's nothing to you. even add. All you nothing hear in the back add. is all the flames that are happening. All you hear is... Okay, here is my internal monologue of, oh my god, yeah, I can't yeah. believe I'm trying to convince <laughs> this thing not to I kill everybody. I just imagine, like, Jackie and Elias are like, Tum Demon, and then <laughs> Adam's in the back like, <laughs> yeah, Adam standing behind us like looking like a little baby. <laughs> <laughs> All right, um, that is your turn, Adam. <laughs> yep, that's my turn. All right, the what enemy's turn. Uh, what, can, can I? Is that technically an action? Uh, taunting would technically be an action. Yes. So I can't like hold my action for no. Hey, Animus, these nuts. That's fine. <laughs> Unless you <laughs> use extra effort, I guess. Uh, that's fine. All right. Um. Yeah, so uh, you stand in front of this this black phoenix, uh, the eyes all over it. Oh, this is so cool. And you, uh, the all the eyes, and keep in mind the eyes on this entity, just like always before, they're not the same eye. There, right. some of them are different colors. Some of them are not human. You see, like the lizard eyes and uh, like dark, uh, like jagged pupils and irises onto it. All these myriad of colors. Um, but all of them are looking right at you, Elias. Yep. Uh, there's one that's like looking like maybe towards Adam's direction, but then like quickly looks back yeah. at Elias. Like, whatever. <laughs> and um, yeah. you uh, you feel this heat emanating from it. The heat around you start to lower a bit, and you you all hear you speak of balance, balance, balance. You are really learning. But I wonder if it's enough. Ugh, fuck. You hear a familiar, deep, resounding voice of Judge Ejon Brem. Oh, no! I recognized him immediately. And you see all of the eyes shift to the blue, greenish, teal hue of his eyes. And you hear... Well... What do we have here? In the abode of my enemy. You have brought me here. And now, with the power she once possessed, I will consume everything. How can that be? Staring with that. Oh my god. As Brem Phoenix. Oh my god. Judge Phoenix. Oh my god. 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 I literally don't know what to know. do. Uh, does an 18 hit your parry? My parry is 7. Just hits you. Uh, I'm gonna interpose. Okay. My man. <laughs> okay. So, do I reroll to hit you? I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna say no right now. Okay. Okay. She's like, 
off, that dude. was so abrupt. That was great. That was like the most unexpected thing. Yeah, so you're thing. able to <laughs> come in. Yeah, so I just run in front of Elias and just like, I get, it doesn't hit me. So I, do I just like redirect the attack? Like, uh, it's like you knock can it away. pull Elias you, like, out of the way. Block like you, it for me? Yeah, jump okay, up and you grab way. Elias by the shoulders and yank him down. Um, oh, yeah, just yeah. out of the way as this, um, similar to what hit you from before, yeah. Adam, this, but in now with this, a black color to it this jet of flame just surges right yep. past you it hits the ramp outside of the uh room and the ramp just disintegrates it explodes wow oh god yeah i i, I grab a and pull him out of the way of the fire i'm like don't get hit by that <laughs> <laughs> duly noted <laughs> it destroyed my back <sighs> jackie your turn all right uh I'm going to use internal attack. Okay. Um, and try to, like, I, like, try to, like, envision, like, what's inside of it and, like, squeeze his, like, throat shut. Okay. Very cool. So it's a perception, right? Or do you roll the hit? It is perception. Okay. Yep. So what's the damage? Three. That's a natural one for me. <gasps> yeah. Ooh. Hell yeah! For a total of 11. Eh. So it takes one degree of damage. Doesn't Keep in take... mind, the phoenix was hurt from before. So it Doesn't it uh... take an additional one because it rolled a natural one? You are right. Hey. Thank you very much. So it, uh, yeah. it is dazed now. Hey. Yeah, get <laughs> fucked, bitch! <laughs> okay, so it's at a minus one. Fails by three degrees, actually. Yeah. Hell because, uh, yeah. It's fifteen bitch. plus three, which is eighteen. It has a minus one, which is a total of ten. But yep. And Get plus it just so it's a two failures plus the one. Got it. Okay. Hell yeah. So he is now nice. staggered. Holy shit! Oh. Awesome. Yeah. Okay. Jackie's killing it this time. Yeah. <laughs> Elias, you it. Oh shit! Oh uh. damn time. <laughs> All right. Um. Oh, the music stopped. Yeah, let's... Damn you. Yes, I'm watching YouTube, all right? If I wasn't, I'd YouTube you. and chill. <laughs> all right, you know what? I bring you some great background music with the automaton. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> yes. All right, Elias, what are you doing? I... I'm not fucking around with this phoenix. I am going to charge a ball of soul fire, and I'm going to whip it at it. Okay. Fuck this shit. I'm done being diplomatic. <laughs> okay. It's not with the Egon. Fuck Egon. Ah! I'm re-rolling that. Uh, 19. 19? Yeah. Okay, that's gonna hit. Hell yeah. I need to have it not be over the pit. So it's a will save for me. Yes. Uh, 13? So what's your damage? Uh, 9. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> God, I'm rolling like shit. Good. Because uh, I don't know if we're going to survive this Thank encounter God. this time. Come on. You've made every fucking fight for the last, like, four episodes absurdly difficult. Yeah. That's a narrative, my friend. I know, but, like, it's but getting finally. to be where every single episode I'm afraid for our lives. <laughs> That's good. Uh, <laughs> That's good. You fucking... <laughs> so, hold on. Sadistic yeah, bastard. Like I, I know, honestly. I'm surprised I haven't so, been, like, dead uh, yet. That's three degrees. Yep. It has failed by three degrees already. Yep. Uh, how do you want to beat him? Oh! <laughs> how do you want to do yeah. this in the immortal words of mercy? This bitch ain't shit! Uh, Alright. <laughs> Damn. So, I'm... Um, I'm gonna rip this page out of my book real quick. <laughs> <laughs> fuck this phoenix and fuck Egon Brim. Um... <laughs> I charge this ball in my hand, I make a fist, and I stretch it sort of to like, almost like soul blade-ish okay. kind of shape, yeah. but like a spear. Ooh, a soul I, pole arm, if you will. Yeah, and stretch it wide, and then like, oh. javelin Ooh. throw it, aiming for its chest, yeah, and I want to hit, and then like, kind of pierce it and go straight through. Yeah, so you yes. reel back with the soul spear, and you just... 
strike true right in the uh, the center of it. Heat. <laughs> <laughs> that Bringing awesome. that heat. Um, it strikes right into center, right into one of the eyes, uh, yeah. dead center in it. And, it was, and the, like, the green spread. Yeah, the green yeah. spirals <laughs> and Ooh. expands outward, yep. forcing this entire uh, being of flame to unravel. <laughs> And you hear, no, what no, and you, uh, <laughs> the phoenix is immediately uh, dispelled. The flames around you start to like, fade back up, as, like, yeah, you have d- defeated this form of Judge Brown. <laughs> he Fuck was here for like two seconds, and we're like, <laughs> <laughs> it took literally two turns. <laughs> Yeah, you guys fucked him up. I feel so God bad. damn. That's what you get, bitch! <sighs> Come back again when you want to get your ass whooped. <laughs> yeah, you, uh, uh, you're you all in this... Uh, now, like, it's still warm, very hot. Yeah. The flames haven't yet fully dissipated. Yep. Um, but you're, uh, you're... It's quieter. <laughs> I'm gonna I like three of you do. Was I still like hovering? I'm gonna check on Adalia. Uh, yeah. Um, I'm gonna drop back down to the ground and like dispel my soul wings and just sigh. Just I <sighs> check on Adalia. Yeah. Now that that's out of the way, where's Adalia? Adalia lays. Uh. Should be next to me, right? Yes. Besides, yeah. uh, if you're doing something, <laughs> stop on the desk because I can hear it. Yeah, I can hear it too. Oh, sh- okay. boom, 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 boom. Yeah. Uh, um, so, um, wanna... yeah, Adalia's a weak. She's like holding Jackie's hand yeah. still, at least trying to. I want to um, walk over. She looks like she doesn't really know where she is. Yeah. Um, I want to walk over to her and like kneel next to her. Okay. Um, yeah, as, as you're going over there, Elias, I'm just like to, uh, why don't you do that thing more often? You just destroyed that phoenix. <laughs> yeah. That was awesome. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> lucky shot? <laughs> yeah, I guess. I guess. I don't know. Anyway. Um, yeah. I want to look down to Adalia. And I want to, like, put my hand, like, under her chin to, like, get her attention. And, like, yeah, look as you her look, her um, you notice that she can't really look at you. Mm. Um, her irises are white um she is blind yeah wow oh is she conscious yes okay she says where <sighs> she reaches out she's still grabbing at jackie but lets go as soon as you touch her and she like yeah. tries to grasp almost defensively yeah at your wrist yeah. but is like very weak so yeah. you could stop it off yeah. if you wanted to i stay i don't care if she tries to like pull it away or mm-hmm. anything i'm just like we're not going to let him hurt you anymore. I, I heard him. I heard him. He was he, he was here. He's gone now. We got rid of him. She says, We're gonna get you help, Adalia. She stops stops trying to grasp, like try to dig her nails in, yeah. and then her she softens a mm-hmm. bit. She lets her hand drop. Yeah. I like brush her cheek with my thumb. I'm just like, he's not going to get you. We're going to get you out of here and bring you to your brother. She says, I don't want to see him. He really wants to see you. That would be a first. He wants to protect you. He wants to keep you away from all of this forever she reaches against her chest she keeps her palm against there and she says I'm not going back I've lived as hard as I could to stay away from them and all of it, but I always kept going back. 
and I can't. I can't. I can't. So I'll just give you what you need. You can't use it yet, but he'll tell you how. Just promise me one thing. And she reaches out and she strokes your cheek, yeah. their other hand. Darling. Adam actively turns the other way to give him some privacy. I'm just like, <laughs> <laughs> like uh, he says tell my brother and my him that I hate them and she the hand on her chest she pulls out and you see this sliver of blue flame yeah and with the rest of her strength she shorts your cheek and slaps you oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and the sparks fly against blue. your face yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep blue sparks and there's a blue a pulse uh like when your flames affect someone the yep. veins <laughs> yep and you feel it inside of you um bury down into your chest yeah uh and then throughout the rest of your body and then concentrate in your head like a haze yeah, yeah. and it's burning and burning and uh, both of you watch as elias crumbles to the ground uh in agony at this um idalia's form uh begins to uh Thanos snap ash away. Yeah. Oh, just <laughs> very slowly, just bit by bit. Yeah. And her vision I, I, just I goes blank. I like kneel down to Elias. I'm like, Elias, you're hurt. What's going on? I'm just like you hear me? grabbing my temples and my head and just like suppressing mm -hmm. it as hard as I can. And after a few minutes, the, the pain subsides. But well before then, Adalia's form has burned to cinders. And uh, this, there is a presence in the back of your mind right now. Yeah. Um, as if your mind was branded. Yeah. Uh, but it doesn't feel. You know, there's a sense of it hasn't been invoked entirely. There is something. It is hesitantly floating around in the back of your mind. Um, I want to like take my hands away from my head mm -hmm. and um. Oh, you also see, sorry, yeah. not to interrupt, the ash that is now like permeating the air as it's dissipating, um, while it was once this black charred, what you would kind of expect, it starts turning into colors, just a myriad of different colors, huh. and it swirls in the air. Um, and even though, unfortunately, Elias, you're not able to really take in what it was, you catch the last glimpse of it, but yeah. um, Jackie and Adam... You were able to see it's uh, awe inspiring that these colors mix and all of these ashes form together and these patterns in the air. Kind of like you ever see like smoke art, if that's like if you ever heard of something like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They make sure. shapes within the smoke. Yep. It's like that of these different patterns and colors um, that invoke different feelings within you. Um, and they're the feelings that are invoked are individualized. Like, none of you know what you are feeling but yourself like you it's it is yours to to have mm. and to hold and then it turns to nothing huh. i'm gonna stand up i'm gonna like kind of collect okay? myself and look down and brush myself off and open up both my hands in front of myself and create two balls of soul fire one in each hand I'm going to inspect the color of them. Uh, both green at this moment. All right. No. Uh, how, are you, how you doing, bud? You, are you you're okay? right? Did she... You just stare into the flames for a minute. Are you a Dahlia now? 
I close my palm, my fists, and the flames dissipate. He's done though. <laughs> then I throw my hands down to my sides and kind of chuckle. I'm like, I don't feel any different. You hear? Oh, oh. interesting. <laughs> Keys pressing down. Yeah. <laughs> no difference I at all. Hmm? I slowly look towards her voice, like. Ugh. Yeah, you see Rachel at the entrance. <laughs> it seems you. Hey, have... Rachel. Thanks for the help. You yeah. didn't ask. Then he turned. All of that happened very fast. Yeah, said her and the DM. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't even need uh, their help. Yeah, no. We were fucking wrecking. She yeah. says, I am most impressed. Well, you guys got what you wanted all along. You watched me absorb another member of Animus. Mm. You saw it firsthand. I don't know how I did it. She approaches you. Um, she, she steps right next to all of you. Um, she says, Yes, uh, it would seem you were a bit oblivious during the whole thing, but hmm, and she starts walking around you, like scrutinizing you yeah. without like touching or anything. She's clacking away on that that keyboard mm. she says hmm no difference at all hmm? i like take a breath and like close my eyes and kind of like focus and i feel that kind of like like aimlessly swimming entity in the mm. back of my mind like it's just like yes. this, this strange trailing thought of like an uneasy sort of feeling like i don't know yeah, like um, what to do with myself kind of anxiousness mm -hmm. But I can kind of like brush that off and recognize like that's not mine. That's not familiar because it isn't me anymore in, mm -hmm. in there. Um, so I kind of just like play it off like, yeah, no, no different. Curious. Well, I must say none of the, our experiments ever have gone so well in that manner. Very interesting. What exactly do your experiments entail? Because it, that wasn't, that was hardly a Dahlia. Yes. No, well, no. every every individual is different. The only shred of a Dahlia in there was when she hit me. <laughs> wow. You, After calling me a name. You broke her up into tiny pieces and... A pet name. You you left her vulnerable. <laughs> you completely well, we, destroyed her her psyche. We usually find that the best way to build something up the way you want is to, well, break down the foundation. It is not an especially enjoyable process for them or us, if you choose to believe that. I'm not entirely convinced you feel. That sounds like torture. Well. We call it what we will. We would not use such a... evil term. Maybe you wouldn't. The capitalist cyborg wants to debate... Would morality <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna turn my back to Rachel and start walking out of the uh, the room that we're in yeah um, and just say like um well guys we got what we needed from these scumbags let's leave yeah you yeah. see as uh, as you move out you hear you hear the steps moving up the ramp and one of the lifts like <laughs> moving up as umbra collective personnel start flooding into the room yeah. Mm -hmm. I turn to Rachel. I'm like, we got what we came for. You witnessed what you wanted. Mm -hmm. We have a we have a world to save out there. Any issues we have can wait until that's done. What is your next course of action? Destroying those pillars. Right, but clearly you need the second 
piece to that puzzle. I'm sensing a theme tonight. You know, I just think that you and whoever works in Umbra Collective convinces other people that they need them more than you need them. I turn to Jackie. I'm like, well, they can enter planetary travel. They're not concerned about Earth like we are. Well, my point is we don't need you as much as you need us. That would have been impossible without Elias. That would have been impossible if we hadn't brought Adalia to you. It seems like we're doing more for you than you're doing for us. Honestly. Yeah, yeah, tell. If I'm not mistaken, <laughs> you've called upon us on two occasions because you needed our assistance. And in both, we obliged. If I'm not, and she clips away at her keyboard, comes back. One of our operatives got you out of quite a bind weeks ago. One that I don't know if you would have been able to handle, according to his report. So what does that make you to us? Animus insurance? <laughs> uh, what that makes us, as much as I don't want to say it, and as much as you do not want to say it, is we are allies. Mm -hmm. We have different methods. And as regretful as it is, we both must accept one another's methods and use one another. Well then, from here on forward, we're equals. Because I understand that we've had our fair share of uses for you, just as you've had your fair share of uses for us, which makes us equal. Not We have skill sets that the others don't possess. Exactly. I do not decide the equality of our positions. Well, who does? Big shot. And where's he? Would you like to meet him? Yeah. Absolutely. It could be arranged. Certainly. I think if this relationship stays intact at all, that's going to be necessary. Yeah. Especially considering your methods are less than favorable. And you don't have all the answers we want. And we have your answers. Very well. However, if, I'm in, if I am to arrange this meeting, it will take a bit of time. He is a very busy individual. You cannot drop everything just to meet with the three of you. That's fine. We were just leaving anyway. No, no. You will stay the night. I insist. I object. We have places we need to be. Very we urgent. Have, there, there's an entire planet out there mm -hmm. outside of this facility mm -hmm. with billions of people that can't do what we can do. Hmm. That's true. And they need we saving. Need I think one day won't hurt so bad. Yeah. We're down to hours. Are we? On whose we accord? On the accord of the dark entity. But who decides whether or not it's a few hours? <laughs> Based on the calculations of our friends, friends, these these pillars are expanding and they're going to consume everything on this planet. And I know that doesn't concern you because you're a machine. But we here on Earth are very concerned about that. I'm very concerned about the well-being of my home. Then you understand our predicament. I do. I also understand these things can't be rushed. It's just funny how this came full circle. Yeah. Why do you want us to stay? What? So you what? may meet with Bidshot. Oh, now? 
We can't, Absolutely. We can't wait around for him to put on his nice outfit and be ready for us. Yeah. There are things we need to take care of. Regardless if he's big shot or not, there are more pressing things than a business meeting. Yeah. I pull out one of the beacons in my pocket. I'm like, you guys have us bugged anyway. You can find us whenever you want. Let us leave and have him page us when he's ready. And we'll return. Mm-hmm. He says, oh, she says, uh. When bid shut, 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 shut. Stop speaking. She <laughs> looks down. And then back up. Yeah. And you hear a different voice out of her mouth. Yeah. She says, it says, I have what you need. Something you failed to obtain before. If you want it, you will meet with me when when the time comes you will We're wait on one cycle please enjoy the amenities of the umbra collective no you have no, way. no choice right? in this matter the future of the world depends on it they sure as hell don't depend on this fucking shit company. Whatever this is. I will ensure that Rachel files the complaint. And she blinks. <sighs> well, there you have it. Dude, this sucks. What's stopping We're us from leaving? Like... Uh, Nothing. Why we we don't know how the fuck to get out. <laughs> For starters. Besides that. <laughs> I can get us back to that, that elevator room. Allow me to show you why it might be difficult to leave. She steps up. Okay. Um. What are we supposed to do right now? Check your phones. I don't have one. I do. <laughs> What's your signal look like? What does my signal look like, DM? Uh, no signal. At all? Nope. If we're gonna stay, that has to change. Are you telling this to her? Yeah. <laughs> she says, I suppose I will also show you why that might be difficult. We need a link to the outside world if we're gonna stay here for 24 hours. I could ask... But I can't guarantee anything. This is on a... I don't think... Do you even understand what time crunch we're on right now? Yes. I do. He has made do it you... very clear. Well, as somebody connected to that, I think it's imperative that we either meet with him now or go, because we have other things we need to do if we're going to tackle that. He is not ready to meet you. We're just talking in circles right now. Ugh. He's got something for us. We might as well stay. What do you think he could possibly have? I believe he mentioned it once. And what did he mention? Something about a protection. Oh. I mean, I guess we're staying. Damn it. Yeah. Yeah. Just show me why us... we can't communicate with the outside world. Also, get us a three course meal. Yeah. To feed, Adam. Feed what? Them. We're going to stay here for a day. Well, as you are guests, <laughs> she's walking down the ramp uh, with you. Um,. Well, since you are now guests of the Umbra Collective, that can be arranged, Mr. Mercury. Good. She starts walking. And, um, 
You guys walk quite a distance through ha- these winding hallways, past the um, the security checkpoint again, the engineering bay. Um, you move down a, a separate set of hallways, and you uh, find yourself uh, walking into this half uh, cylinder, like spherical room. Um, uh, Adam, you kind of recognize the layout as uh, the center of it as this raised pavilion. There are these instruments all around. Um, it yep. is an observatory. Oh. And she oh. walks over to a desk, hits some keys, and you see the ceiling itself. <laughs> begin to open up. Uh, and you see uh, past this uh, thick layer of glass uh the earth what oh we're not on earth mm. we're in space i told you we're in space you, and you, she looks you. over to the three of you and she says as you can see you are now the esteemed guests of the umbra collective at our lunar headquarters i told you and we're in space we'll call it for tonight we're on the moon <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? What did I say last time? You guys were like, oh, you're so stupid. We're not going in space. I love how we barreled through that fight so much so that you I ended know. the session almost an hour early. No, you no, 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 it's half hour. Oh, what minutes. time is it? It's 9 11. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, I wouldn't have ended the session that We early. wrecked that guy. You guys destroyed <laughs> that boss. You Thank guys, God. Molly, Boston. honestly, no, this was my I favorite session so far. Good stuff. Like this was like I the most in, the like exciting, time. interesting story like thing that happened. It was cool. Yeah, that's the first time that I think my mind control actually like went through without me dying. Yeah, yeah. everything, <laughs> everything <laughs> went like perfectly. This run. I know. <laughs> this session was fantastic. We'll keep that upward yeah. curve going. Hell yeah, we deserve it. Time? No, <laughs> All this bullshit. Last time. Hey, I oh, I died again this time. <laughs> You almost all killed right, me! Alright, 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 alright. Uh, their ending screen doesn't work. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna put it up anyway. Rip. No, I'm not. Uh, <laughs> anyway, thank you so much, everyone, for joining in, tuning in to the initiative. Ready to raid. Hell yeah, um, our, our, our very extra special, confusing, strange, quarantine, COVID-19 yeah. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully bullshit well episode. Um, thank Sorry you. if the quality is a little bit less than ideal, because... Sure. You guys, streaming. you guys sounded great on our end. Yeah, everything uh, worked really nicely. Thank you. You guys cut out quite a few times, so I was like, "Oh no, okay. yeah. we cut out." Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you guys on Discord for us personally, whenever you guys talked at the same time, it would cut out. Oh, uh, so we were like, <laughs> so it was hard. Sure. Hopefully that didn't happen. <laughs> I, I wouldn't have. No, it, it was just Discord. Anyway, yeah, uh, no. thank you to our fun. new followers, uh, Sammy Wolf two hundred one and John the Great too hell yeah thank yeah. you to neo as always thank you for the bits appreciate hell that. yeah thank you to uh our wonderful moderator taylor hell uh, yeah the man i'd appreciate it. thank you to lucas for tuning in as usual over there uh thanks, thanks to all these awesome fans that tune in regularly to watch good us stuff, like i know stuff. i love that i i so, never expected that to happen it's so fucking we, cool that it does like we really appreciate anybody tuning in anybody looking at the channel anybody looking at the spotify yeah honestly it means a lot so keep it going and mm-hmm. hell yeah and i'm glad that we keep yeah, you guys entertained yeah, if you like mm. what you see here, make sure you take a uh, look at us at all of our social medias, including uh, Facebook, uh, Twitch, of course, Spotify, um, YouTube, uh, Twitter, and all that for updates. You can look us up at Keep Tapinet, uh, look up Initiative by Keep Tapinet, no G, mm-hmm. yeah. onto there. Uh, all of our audio, the audio will be posted the next day, as well as the VOD on YouTube. So if you want to wait till then to watch anything, or if you missed anything from there. Hopefully next week we'll be back to our normal broadcast. A little doubtful yeah. with the way things are going right now. Yeah. But at least we have something. Yep. Yeah, right and, and it works. And it works. This so. was kind of a, a nice trial, and it went way smoother than I anticipated. Yeah, thank God. <laughs> so if this is the new norm for a little while, I'm not mad at it. Yeah, as long as you guys are good with it, like this yeah, is, we'll see how it goes. Uh, this is okay. So if you want yeah. something different, um, that's sort of related, but I'll plug anyway because it might do it up help us. Hell yeah. Um, I'll be playing or the new Ori on my channel, which is Miss Luna White. Ooh. Um, 
Because I know uh, the only reason I say it is because I've been getting more people on Facebook. Yeah. On my channel, so I put the the app. I'm trying on to link there. them. I'm trying to bring bring them all together. Yeah, <laughs> it's put the app on the screen. <laughs> it's it's right there, Miss Luna White. Go yep. look at yep. it. Yeah, love it. Just Google Miss Luna White <laughs> and go to all the websites that it connects to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, all right, and then all right. also uh, another quick reminder because we don't remind every week. Uh, April 10th is our 24 hour charity stream of Final Fantasy. Yeah. I was going to ask, are you guys still yeah. doing that? With the, yeah, the it's way still everything go is going for right now, we we're, might we're have it. no guests. We're still doing it. Can I come over? <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. I, I don't know. I, I have know no I'm, idea what things are going on yeah. right now. I am going to say right now, it is on. Don't know. You know, we'll okay. be making a trailer ad for it. After all these like concerts and events and and conventions and everything got canceled, at least good old KTX is still rolling. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Twenty four. Hours. Yes. Yeah, 24 hours, charity. and all Our proceeds charity. go to the American Cancer Society. Yes. Yeah. All proceeds, so it helps a good cause. Okay. Every we're That's not keeping a damn thing. Yeah, not mm -hmm. a damn thing. No, we don't. We don't <laughs> want any of that. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. We appreciate it. Uh, we love you. You're all fantastic. Uh, Hell yeah! Stay until, safe out there. Yeah, stay safe. Uh, yeah, especially stay safe. For the raid. Keep, keep a six yeah. foot distance. You know, stick, stick around for the raid. Wash and, your hands. Uh, Don't talk to strangers until. <laughs> stay away from the grocery Don't store. Um, until we grow again or whatever I say. Anyway, um, <laughs> bye, -bye. <laughs> bye bye. Bye. You guys rock.